Welcome to the Barber Shop. We have Avnish Bajaj, uh, the founder of Matrix Partners India, one of India's best and largest venture capital funds. They have backed businesses like Ola, Off Business, Country Delight, and so many more. Avnish, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for taking the time. What did you see in the Raven? What did you see in the Raven? What did you see in the Raven? When people ask me, why did you start Nazi? You know, I could say, inspired to do something in India. This day. I just wanted to get rich. Person is shaped. More by the first 18 years of their life than by the most recent seven years of their life. Boards fire founders and install CEOs. So you're saying professional CEOs is not a good idea for it. What infuriates me is that you have the most to lose. Yeah. When your when your company starts going down or it will harm harm your company. It's literally akin to harming your own child. What? Makes a founder a founder is two things. One, founders set goals and generate resources. Second, that they are able to transcend. Welcome to the barber shop. Uh, actually, this is not the physical barber shop, but we have come into the lion's den. I have with me Revant, who you have seen before. But for those who have not, Revant is the amazing founder of Mosaic Wellness. Uh, I'll let him introduce himself, but was a board member at Bombay Shaving Company and a dear, dear friend. And today we have Avnish Bajaj, uh, the founder of Matrix Partners India, one of India's best and largest venture capital funds. They've backed businesses like Ola, Off Business, Country Delight, and so many more. And founders all over. People like me who have not raised money from Matrix Partners despite trying many times. And people like Revan who have raised from them uh, speak absolutely, uh, you know, in voluminous uh, praise of, of Avnish and the fund. So welcome to Avnish. But before that, Revan, you should uh, reintroduce yourself to the barbershop audience. Thanks a lot, Shankar. Uh, hi, I'm Riva, co-founder and CEO at uh, Mosaic Wellness. Uh, started about three years back uh, when, uh, apart from uh, Matrix Sequoia and Elevation, uh, backed us and have been trying to build a business since then. Before that, I've spent some time in VC and uh, spent almost six years at uh, Rebel Foods as an entrepreneur and resident. And welcome, and welcome to Avnish, who's kindly agreed to do this. And thank you for... Uh, this time giving me a host seat versus a guest seat. We are now actually co-hosting. Uh, you saw with Rahul, we uh, co-hosted the, uh, the episode with Virin. So we're trying different formats. If you guys have ideas about how we should do more of these conversations, please let us know. We're all doing this for the first time. Uh, all ideas will be absolutely welcome. Amnish, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for taking the time. Uh, and uh, of course, we've spoken about the barbershop before, but it should have to take a step back. I think one of the fundamental uh mindset shift that's happening in young india is getting enamored by the concept of entrepreneurship um and you see a lot of people who want to be entrepreneurs there is capital for the indian middle class has gone up it is now not something when you started bazi for example it was a very offbeat thing to do for the regular person but today running a startup is a calling card you know you you get a certain amount of social status there are financial rewards that people have started understanding uh, when it comes to being a founder. Uh, but we are still significantly behind the curve. Uh, recent uh, reports say India needs to create a million jobs a month over the next 10 years. We are at 25% of that. So there is a 75% delta that still needs to be done. And through the barbershop, what we do is we bring in people like you um, and Revan. Uh, and we, we actually try to explore entrepreneurship so that my personal objective is at the end of this episode, if even one person who's watching this feels, okay, I'm going to jump the fence and do this. That's, that's victory for us. So thank you so much for taking the time. And I wanted to start off this podcast by asking you a simple question. What did you see in the Raven? What did you see in the Raven? What is it that you saw in Raven? What product category was he doing? He was doing it. I think wellness and healthcare, like I don't know the good broad. Sexual wellness, I don't know, maybe that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, first of all, thank you for having me. Uh, I, I think what you're doing, the goal of what you're doing is just very inspiring. Uh, we are all big India bulls. We want, not just want, we believe in, in the story and what is coming. Uh, but I do worry about employment. Um, and like you said, even if one person gets uh, gets converted, hopefully they gender it under 2,000 jobs. So uh, very excited about, about being here. Uh, one thing I will say, you know, in this context of entrepreneurship, you, you and I were joking offline about, 
the age gap and all of that. So you were born maybe 90? 87. Yeah, but all of you guys are children of the liberalized India. Yeah. Uh, I grew up in the not liberalized India. And at that time, my father was in central government. And so business used to be actually a bad word. Um, and it used to be associated with corruption. It used to be associated with uh, essentially a lot of uh, bribing government, all of that stuff, right? Also greed. Right? <laughs> greed. Actually, that's a very good point. It's a very good point. It was against the value system. It was against middle class values. Education, right? Um, so actually, when I quit my job to come back to Sarbazi, that my dad was supportive, but he was like, what are you, what are you smoking, right? <laughs> Uh, so I just think we criticize a lot, maybe sometimes rightly our country, but look at where we are, 26, whatever, 30 years later, right? Um, and today we are talking in a lot of things, we are in almost same level. When we started the we used to say uh, we are 10, 15 years behind China. Uh, we are, you know, 30, 25 years behind behind the U.S., Look at how quickly things have developed. And today, yesterday, we had an AI uh, session for, for uh, which was conducted by our founders. What is happening in the US, what is happening in China is happening here now. So I think we should just, we're just living, in my view, we should count on blessings. And we are all privileged to be living in these times. But very excited to be here. Amazing. No, but you, you, you dodged very smartly the question. <laughs> what are the product? It's not the question, it was the product. So you were, I feel very mad now. But I thought, I thought you were like, yeah, kya banda hai gar de. And now we're like, <laughs> I actually thought founders person, I am like. <laughs> the question was, was set up for me to fail. <laughs> How did you see in him that you didn't see in me? <laughs> I'm kidding. I, I, I told uh, Ren also. Yeah. We, when we start, this is what I'm going to do. Uh, she said, oh, very cool. I said, are you going to be out? I'm like, no. <laughs> no, but I, I think the broader question, Avnish, and I will come to your sto- uh, your uh, your uh, journey in Bazi, you know, as we go, you know, as we continue the conversation. But on the matrix, uh, outside your office, the first thing is we are founders first. No, we have to be. Everywhere, right? Yeah. It's your, I, I hear it's your Wi-Fi password, yeah. a lot of things, right? Uh, what is it, and you've seen venture capital for now more than a decade, like almost two decades now. Um, every founder is different. At least the ones I meet myself, there is no archetype. Uh, different things work for different people. And you you guys have evolved into a fund over the last decade or so, which kind of invests very early, where there are very few data points. But you seem to have understood um, what clicks yeah. the founder. So I just wanted to ask you, uh, what do you look for? Or is it just gut? How much of it is gut? How much of it is science? I think it's it's a little bit of both, but let me back up a little bit on the logic of this, right? So by the way, the, the global narrative, because you said venture, there are firms, probably the firms who have made the most money in the world, that have been set up to follow markets. And there are people even like Warren Buffett and who says, Show me a good team, a, a, a great team and a bad market, market wins. Show me a bad team and a great market, market wins. So actually, this is not conventional wisdom. But I think a lot of those adages were maybe 20, 20, were, were, came into force 20, 25 years ago, 30 years ago. If you look at the last two decades, what are the most valuable companies that have been created, right? Apple inflected when Steve Jobs came back. Amazon, Tezos, Google under the founder. So this founder led, Facebook was not the first uh, uh, social networking site, right? So our belief, and hence, by the way, coming back to your original <laughs> question and trying to rescue, uh, we had a, so we believe the best founders navigate the worst markets and create new markets. And every VC would want to back a great founder and a great market. That's easy. You don't always find that. So when you have to make a choice, we make the choice here. So that's the logic of it, why we came up with this. Uh, second is a little bit of emotion or a lot of it is emotion of it. A VC's job is not that exciting, other, at least for me personally, if I don't, can't sit here and interact with you guys. Market, I'm not making the business happen. 
So for, for us to derive energy, and as Matrix, we really derive energy uh, from uh, from interacting with the with the founder. So I think that's, a, I wanted to set a little bit of context on why, and that actually, interestingly, we had a positive point of view on the market that they were thinking about, a negative point of view on the market that they were more inclined towards, and what happened was exactly the opposite. So, But then we said, we want to be in business with these guys. And, and I still remember, I think it was, Pre Christmas evening, whatever, trying, you know, we and we said we just do it. As it turns out, that sexual wellness thesis versus the rest of it turned out to be very different, right? So, best founders navigate uh, all of it. So, I think that's the the context of, of how we got there. Now, coming to how do you pick? It's very easy for me to say and try to look cool by saying it's an art, it's gut feel, and we have great gut feel. Our gut gut, gut feel is better than your gut feel, right? <laughs> No, no, no. Science is also there. So, there is science. References, track record. Some of it is the nature of the interaction. You would be surprised, Shantanu, how many investments have happened or that have come out in the news for the wrong reasons where those issues had shown up in the founders' past. Including in crypto. I'm not just talking about India. If you look at all the people who, in the last three, four years, blew up crypto empires, go look at their history. Many of them were under SEC investigation. In the, a lot of them were traders, SEC investigation, this, that. Character doesn't change. So, this character, ka jo, uh, figure out, karna hai, I think there is a science to it. There's a method to it. And I think some of that is spending more time. If I were to ask you about character of any of your friends, I think you'll have a pretty good... Um, pretty good view. How do you compress that into, say, 20, 15 to 20 hours of uh, interaction and uh, trying to figure out what this person's life has been and how do you capture data from that and form a pattern? And I think that's, I mean, if you take his, by the way, if you take your example, I still remember when we met uh, your background from McKinsey, all the people from, all, all the people internally who knew you, who were, you know, to, none of that with his rebel, you know, spoke to Jaydi, all of that. So I think that that's the science. Sure. So if I may sort of double click, there's a science to understanding and getting to understand what the archetype is. Yeah. And the art is what archetype to actually back. Is that what you're saying? But if you look at you know, one of the things we discuss, uh, actually, I have been quoting Sa Sam Altman for the last five years, and now obviously quoting him will be very cool. <laughs> <laughs> so he said, and when he was at Y Combinator, he said, a person is shaped more by the first 18 years of their life than by the most recent seven years of their life. I fundamentally believe that. So if you see, even I think in our interaction, I would have said, where were you born? Where were you raised? What is the family background? This, this. And then you kind of follow the journey and say, how did this person become? What was the background? If I am very clear. I became hungry, driven, this, because of an environment I grew in. Then what did I do with it? Right? Uh, so I think movie science can be fixed. Right. Right. But the, there are intrinsics. And which is why we actually say hunger, hustle, uh, open-mindedness, curiosity, this, that. If you if you know what you're looking for, then the questions you ask will give you those answers, right? Uh, well, is the last 10, 20% gut feel, hai, which is actually a different type of gut feel. Will I enjoy, we, three of us were sitting inside and faffing and giving gyan about things which maybe we shouldn't be, <laughs> but uh, uh, we enjoyed it. Yeah. And I think that life is too short and be in business with people that you're going to... I think that's the most most beautiful part of these relationships is uh, like just to give you context, uh, the round was closed. Uh, so Avi is being kind when he says that uh, there was a lot of thesis and yay. We just had an interaction where I think we just enjoyed those two hours and I think it takes some of those meetings to figure out that I think that is the last 20%. I think not 
enough people take decisions that way. Yeah, I think there has to be that element of will I enjoy spending time with this person for the next yeah. 10 years? Yeah. And it's take, it takes 10, 15 years to build a good business yeah. in India. Yeah. Uh, is this something that would, would be highly encouraged? But just on the previous point as well, do you think in a market like India, unlike the US, which is a little shallow, I know it's deepening, but uh, founder versus market therefore becomes more important. Like in the US, you can get away with not only that, yeah. 100%, but not only that, in the US, and I'm, that it, I'm saying it the way it is, boards fire founders and install CEOs. Then, by the way, A, I very early, like 14, 15 years ago when we started, that's not what we want to do. I, I've been a founder, a board there fire me, right? Uh, I'm saying it very openly. Uh, it's not what we would enjoy. Uh, but that's also the mindset there. So market has a lot hot hair. So founders don't change. Kar sakte na. And I'll tell you, even in India, I've had uh, chats with some investors where the point of view has been different. And the point of view has been, you know, if this doesn't work out, then X. And my view is, if this doesn't work out, we are done. Right? Uh, and, and then I'm ready to, I would rather uh, write off an investment than take a company away from a firm. So you think professional CEOs is not a good idea for him? Well, if the founder wants it. So, so if you look at what has happened in uh, in Daily Hunt, hmm. Vero got in Umag. Hmm. Now, and they are co-CEOs and they're like brothers. And they feed off each other. Right? I think it's wonderful. And I think actually if you ask me now the flip side, I think Indian founders don't recognize it. The most gap tired. Sergio Risco, Sergio Bolo. Sergey and, Sergei and Larry, they brought in Eric Schmidt. Very early. Very early. I thought said again, that was investor led. No, no. That was. But found the mind was so high. much power in that company that if they don't want, didn't want my understanding, if they don't want, didn't want him to succeed, he couldn't do it. Mm. And he brought in process because these guys would not let anybody complete us and you know, all of those, these are all well covered. Yeah. Actually, on this, right, I think, and I'm very, I'm very uh, sure. That 0 to 1, 1 to 10, 10 to 100, 100 to 1000 journeys require very differing skill sets. Similar intrinsics, but different operating skill sets. So, for example, at the stage at which we are now or where you are, process and talent are crucial. 80% answer is going to market cost us way more today than the wins that we would get with the same approach five years back. It, yeah. it doesn't work. And yeah. for us to break that and yeah. start doing things a lot more smartly yeah. without compromising on agility, but now without compromising on direction either, yeah. requires a very different mindset. I struggle with it. So I can imagine founders realizing that, okay, I was great at this, but I'm mediocre at this. Yeah. I'm being mediocre at this. Yeah. Actually, my obligation to bring in someone great in this becomes yeah. higher. Yeah. However, I feel the ecosystem and just the way we are raised, like I think even the way founders are treated, yeah. the ability to say, I am not sure I'm the best at this. Can someone else come in and do this? Yeah. It's not an easy conversation with the board. Yeah. Like for yeah. Viru to do it, for example, yeah. would have required a lot of courage yeah. and self self confidence. Huh? Vulnerability. Vulnerability, self confidence, trust with yeah. the board to do it. Yeah. Anyway, when the question is, what are you? So, agree. Uh, and by the way, I've been told I have to plug Matrix moments also. So, <laughs> <laughs> we, have, we, have been, uh, we have an episode. Called org 3.0, okay. uh, which is on matrix moment. So what to just to put a framework around this, right? Zero to one, org one o, one to ten, org two o, and ten to infinity, uh, org three o. What does it take? Hustlers, hustlers who can think in two second phase, thinkers who can manage hustlers in third phase. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I actually believe the best founders, people like you, most of the companies that are scaling well. Whether the founder, whether it's a natural skill or an acquired skill, founders are able to do it. What makes a founder a founder is two things. One, founders set goals and generate resources. They don't take resources and generate goals, right? Second, that they are able to transcend. They are able to transcend. In that transcending these position, the answer may turn out to be ki boss, kishi or right? Uh, to your point, is it easy? I would say it depends. It could be either very easy or very hard depending on what are you building towards. If you're building an institution for the next 20, 10, 20, 30 years, it's very easy. If you're building for yourself, then it's very hard, right? So 
I really believe that's uh, that is probably where um, I think the challenge Shadrugh Mere Saab said is theoretical understanding of that situation and openness and potentially even doing it versus practically seeing it play out is where the issue is. When someone comes, I need somebody and uh, let me bring somebody in and let me bring the best talent. So let's say you are saying even that is hard. Let's say that is hard. After that, the behavioral change required once the person is inside is where my view still 70-80% will fail. Because that is still going to happen. I have seen this play out in some company. And I have had uh, somebody tell me the a saying which is Ek mayan mein do talwar nahi ho sak. Mm. Right? After the fact. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> that is true. But don't make the original point around, around uh, evaluating which founder you will have fun with. Uh, and now you have invested in probably hundreds um, and for long periods of time. Uh, give examples of people who you had a point of view on when you issued a term sheet and made the first investment. And then that point of view changed significantly over a period of time and people have come back to surprise you in a good or bad way both. But maybe the book good because that might be uh, you know, no, names I, can't, I obviously cannot give otherwise I'll get <laughs> shot one way or the other. But I would say indicators are always there. Um, so they say, you know, that uh, iceberg is the uh, tip of the, whatever, the tip of the iceberg. Who oh, indicators are there. And by the way, when uh, we were starting Matrix, the founder of Matrix in the US, <coughs> excuse me, he told me, when you, when you think something is wrong, just assume it's 1000x worse, right? And I think on the negative, that has definitely played off. Definitely played off. Anytime, we have also dodged some bullet spaces that. Wow. Meaning, you know, saw some things, said, no, the deal may have been very hot in the market. For two, three years, we were feeling FOMO, and then it blew up. Right. Uh, so, that <clears throat> muscle is very fine tuned over here. And we, can, we are able to spot it from a distance generally. What are those things? Like what? what erratic those... behavior, erratic behavior. Uh, actually, visit the person's office. It tells you a lot. Say more about that. Culture. Like, you know, there are offices I walk in where people's faces are drawn. Well, now this is a little bit more nuanced. And the ones that are easy to spot, you just feel the hierarchy. You you can feel that that, that energy level is different. People are not necessarily uh, interacting. So that's a cultural point. Um, and the nuanced one is you actually can spot happiness in an office versus stress in an office. Um, and clearly the ones that, that are great leaders, and this is the 10 to infinity phase, right, where people are able to uh, try. I think people are surprised on the upside. The upside ones, uh, so we have this framework. He falls in the framework on you would now experience founder, people who have seen it, they have seen cycles. So generally, um, it, you know, they are doing even better than expected, but you kind of bet on that, that they will surprise on the upside, right? So the younger ones, the first time for entrepreneurs are much higher beta. When they surprise, they surprise significantly. <laughs> and, oh, I'm very happy I raced before an office. Office me aayenge abhi to. I think term sheet will send of you. Itna stress nahi dekhen me. No, I no, I completely agree with you. I think the the energy of a place is palpable. And yeah. Sometimes, I for me, for example, now that we are doing a lot more angel text and so on, for me, I think even. Small things like choice of words, yeah, makes so much difference. Like so much different. Like, for example, if someone is using I a lot more than you, like yeah, single thing, yeah, and would you suddenly and then you, I too, I'm the kind of person who starts double guessing. He yeah. has a personal value system that I have, yeah. Ki, you know, but sometimes you want a founder who's a lot more alpha, yeah, a lot. More, yeah, those are the things that make them successful. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. But uh, and that's that's so Shantanu on that no so. I observe the same thing, but I don't judge it. Because I think on zero to one, you have to live with the I. I think the problem is then that person who is saying I graduated into saying me. Because that's what they will need in 10 to infinity. But I'll tell you one other, you said 
how people what they use how they treat the staff like the the office the people who are serving them tea and coffee how are they treating them right uh, and you can see that you can see that some will some will be like very you know so yeah those are long bites there's also like one one more thing i think over the last few years a lot of and maybe this is just uh, a you know a magnifying lens on some one off stories but there are a lot of stories of founders behaving in ways that um uh, 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 that, that 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 just defy basic governance right and it private equity for example has for for a long time growth stage and we will say private equity has faced you know this kind of issues with yeah. larger companies venture capital did not or yeah. we assumed <clears throat> that the kind of founder pool there was the kind of the first 18 year yeah. would be the kinds where uh it would not happen but there is a lot of that coming out and do you think this is a this is a watershed moment where there is a need for founders to be to be kind of coached on maturity governance etc or you just think you are still flash in the pan situations which will no no no, so, no no absolutely uh, there is a need of the r i think the need of the r this man told me 18 months ago he yeah bol no man he said market mein bahut fraud ho raha hai to i was sitting was sitting in my office and i said oh shit hamari company mein ho raha hai so he said abhi i don't know how you will dodge it right now i don't know any of your company but some of them by the way come out in the market later um we took it very seriously but let me again step back a little bit i think first of all on the founder level separate intent from immaturity okay um uh, and and at the, so in my view and i and the second part is i think investors take a lot of responsibility for this there were people in 2021 competing with term sheets saying no dd required if i am a founder forget forget my intent me my immature क्यू <laughs> 1 to 10 and 10 to infinity in late 2020 to uh, Q1 of 22 got compressed. All these checks and balances are put in the 1 to 10 phase. Who who in? Who zero to infinity? Our companies were doing four rounds in 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 like one, uh, one year. So that's but we also lost sight. I I still remember when he said it, it was August 21, in the middle of the bubble. so i'm actually very grateful for that because uske baad humne suddenly we said okay any company more than 10 million we need internal audit in no other way we shuru kar diya tha us uh, us time tak right so today it is need of the r uh immaturity can be fixed with coaching maybe uh some of it is like i said you high bet hota either it will be or it won't be but intent and this whole fraud and all the there should be enough checks and balances that you are catching and by the way my big learning uh is that a big four or big four is great what is statutory audits are nothing that's a check the box correct it's not in their scope to do commercially divided with all the big four i had a discussion saying yeah fraud ho kaise raha aap log kya kar rahe ho is some big four audited company it's not in our scope that's when you realize that internal audit is actually what you need right and so now but now in the vc community there's enough recognition and enough discussion that we let this happen also uh and it cannot be because that you know that good time no audit can catch it by the way uh, if and then to for kuch bhi kabla then mere paas sokar pade hain yeah aur mere ko uske chori karna hai mere kuch so what i what i think is that all the best investors in the world were in it right crazy the skill over here in dark amo those are crazy but even in, in like some of the earnings in businesses what infuriates me about this and whenever whenever i see founders or i read about founders doing it what infuriates me is that you have the most to lose yeah when your when your company starts going down or if you have harm your company it's it's literally akin to harming your own child how can you financially harm because if logic was to play out yeah. no one should do it yeah no one should put in a fake but let me let me challenge that so uh, what about vijay malya what about nirav modi so the reality is offline behaviors are coming online groups to hamare 
हर वर्ल्ड में सब जगह इंडिया में ज्यादा ही थे पहले अंटिल एन सी एल टी केम इन आई यूज टू जोक दैट ऑल द एन पी एज ऑन द ऑन द बुक्स ऑफ द मैक्स आर इज एक्विटी इन द पॉकेट ऑफ द प्रोमोटर साइफन ऑन द मनी वो बैंक से कर रहे थे ये लोग वेंचर कैपिटल से कर रहे थे एक्चुअली ऑन दैट पॉइंट थिंक द पॉइंट टू थिंक अबाउट इज वॉट यू मैंशन दैट प्राइवेट इक्विटी ऑलरेडी सेट द एक्सपेक्टेशन now you spoke about due diligence which our pe would do before investing a large check i think our ecosystem is quite young and more than immature out i would say that the onus and i'm sorry i'm putting this on you but the onus of how to shape this ecosystem has to be in the early large funds who would i to instill processes and say that you know this is how you should yeah. think about uh leveraging capital this is what this this can be a list of do's but this is clearly a list of don'ts yeah. and we have to be on the same page yeah all of the absolute my father had told me long back when i was in mckinsey he had told me you can make enemies as many as you want never make the government one <laughs> never bribe never yeah. dodge tax never do anything where hand on heart if you have to go and present to the mm. assembly in the us or if you don't do it in the india yeah. and you cannot put your point of view across and that is stayed with me very closely now oh. now that's the bar i put now if, but thankfully i had someone who had the experience of running yeah. his own company and so on but some of the 21 year old from iit roorkee from a family which is been in service yeah we may not have had that yeah. so sometimes i agree with you i think the ability to kind of put down what governance has to be what the bar is in mckinsey for example yeah we had i joined the firm in 2011 when the whole rajat thing had just broken out yeah so we were hammered yeah about values and what yeah. is right and what is wrong yeah but and i think that shaped a yeah. lot of the way i yeah. work but sometimes young founders don't have exposure they i know that they and so absolutely we have to do this and by the way we are doing as a vc community i personally am very grateful for, to drevan for flagging this at a time where In the middle of the bubble, we became clear by end of 21 that okay, now our companies are now okay, right? And kind of dodged the bullet. But I will come back to, uh, and I don't know what role we all play in this. That recognize that this will happen. That the, the this is the world of financial services. Is greed and fear? There is greed. Okay, Bernie Madoff will happen. um all that like i can give you so many examples ketan parek all all that stuff happened here uh, way back you these things will happen the question is is the eco if you look at i don't know if you saw the uh, we crashed show yeah then the one around therano i don't know sir ek immaturity hai wahan pe fraud nahi hai yahan pe to fraud hai right so uh, in some of the most developed markets of the world then you have seen ftx right i actually think um i actually like i said i don't know the answer is i i have learned to tr- start to take it in my stride and say what is systemic and it's okay because it also comes with the positives of disruption and what is something where you can intervene so now if you look at all the fraud that was happening by the uh, of whatever the traditional businesses using back equity i think the government did a fantastic job of putting in this bankruptcy court and ncl there lots of checks and balances and you can't you know do some of this uska equivalent hamare liye kya hai do you even want it because you don't want suffocation yeah. don't want too many rules and i think that's where self regulation of some sort will come in no absolutely I, but coming back to your your how did how did matrix start and how did how what was the journey like from founder to exited founder to now founder of a venture capital fund one of the most successful uh over a long period of time in india uh, it took a long period of time to become successful <laughs> or so called <laughs> so called <laughs> but the talk us through that i think yeah. i want enough to kind of just kind of timeline it yeah, on yeah, the yeah. no it's uh, i i i hope it's actually instructive for people because i think at various points one has to go through a decision on what next so i went through so my i am on record saying uh, when people ask me why did you start mazi you know i could say inspired to do something in india this there i just wanted to get rich quick <laughs> and there was a doubt in my mind i was 27 28 dot com bubble million dollar banane hai ye karna hai to usse thode se dala ban gaye so jab wo hua then the question was i still remember where i was working with my wife and i said if i don't work you know we will make x in those days crores a year in just interest and we don't have to do anything 
And she's like, well, there's no chance. <laughs> right? So you better figure out. So there is this, I don't know if you and I spoke about this, but there's this framework with hindsight, with later on, I figured out it's called Ikigai. Okay. Which is this Japanese framework. And, and my own framework at the time was passion, skill set, opportunity. Okay. Where do I feel passionate? Do I have the skill set for it? Is there an opportunity to go for wealth creation or generally fulfillment? Ikigai is basically that, but it adds meaning Correct. and impact. Per to it. Huh. Purpose, right? So, uh, for me, I had, because I had made some money, I made about 20 angel investments in 20, 204, 205, something like that. Wow. Very early. This was, and one of them paid off, uh, actually one was founding investor of Clearter, which shot up very quickly. So, already saw some success. So, Bazi journey had been very exhausting. How long was that journey? Four years. Four years. Okay. Um, so it had been very exhausting. There was no market. We had offers, by by the way, from some of the VCs who would have given us money. And if we had taken it, then who knows what would have happened uh, because flip card, you know, flip card and all that, right? So, uh, but didn't have the energy. Was tired. Realized that the domestic internet market was still very far away. Realized that the cross border was the way to play with services. Didn't want to do that. No passion. No skill set. Even though there was opportunity. Then said, okay, if that is not what I want to do, then how do I be a, become an entrepreneur? I considered becoming a professor. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, but no opportunity. Passion. Who knows about the skills? <laughs> right. So I actually apply this framework across. Was then, is, is in retrospect, are you applying or was it yeah, very, very, very active? Actually, PO post post time guide. Wow. When Matrix was started in 2006, it was with this. And that I have a passion. The skill set, I didn't know. But having invested in... Uh, these 20 companies, the founders used to call me and, they, and I wasn't on the board and they would have separate meetings with me. So I said, to kuch to dekh hai na. Right? whether I can pick or not, they're saying, and then in that we made money also very quickly. So felt that this skill set can be developed. Actually, opportunity was questionable at that time. So tech was not happening. So our Matrix India 1 was a consumer opportunities focus fund. Okay. So if you look at, a, look at it, more, a lot of our investments were offline. Uh, w was one of the investments. So, very little, only Daily Hunt and Quicker were in tech, or the ones that worked. H23 was in tech. Um, and then, of course, the, so that was the thinking. And then, after that, I would say for the first five years, it was unclear whether it was the right decision. It was five, six years. All of us, by the way, asked Sequoia, Axel was a little bit later. All, of, the, all of these were 2006, 2006, 2006 time. Matrix, Nexus, Elevation, Sequoia. Egorta, Kalari, IDG, Helion and uh, Helion and Kalari, any and uh, any Indo US. So, uh, uh, the uh, first crop, seven eight. So, all, everybody's the, all everybody's 2006 fund is nothing to write for. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? happens? But let's I, I was always very intrigued uh, as to what happened in 2005 six. That uh, well, I think even Axel was then eventual. I think before Axel became Axel. it has been it has been. Oh, so, I think, so what happened in 2006 that suddenly, uh, I mean, Sequoia was always there. Uh, this was, I think, the West Bridge to Sequoia. No, so I'll tell you what happened. Even though the exits were small, there were a bunch of exits. Okay. So make my trip in public. Okay. Uh, uh, now we made a ton of money in that uh, elevation. Then what else? Bazi was an exit. There were like a bunch of these exits. So people said India market. Has India opportunity is wow. there. Yeah. So India US LP started looking at India. US LP started looking at India. And this is, even though that India shining phase was over, but there was this thing that India is the next China. Uh, and people, and that China was exploding, right? 20 uh, years later, we're still saying India is the next China. Uh, no, I have a different <laughs> point of view now. I think hopefully in some ways we'll, we'll do differently, but better. Um, so, so that happened. And uh, so the first one, you know, everybody had different strategies. And you were investing, la like, I, I remember or when I talked to Varun or Vikram, they were saying that you should do large, almost growth stage. Check mid market not, P. Uh -huh. We were a mid market consumer P firm. So, uh, so, uh, so W did very well, well for us. Some, some companies did well for us. 2011, we raised our next fund. 2012 is when there was this infamous or famous actually. Mary Mika report, she was used to be at Morgan Stanley, which said, 
मोबाइल इंटरनेट इज क्रॉसिंग डेस्कटॉप इंटरनेट इन इंडिया एंड दैट वाज द नेक्स्ट मोबाइल बिकॉज़ सबने वो रिपोर्ट पढ़ ली सब आ गए वापस एक्चुअली 2009 का द इफेक्ट्स वर आल्सो काइंड ऑफ वेनिंग अब 10 हो चुका था एंड बाय द वे स्नैपडील वाज डूइंग वेरी वेल कनेक्ट दैट वाज कॉजिंग अ लॉट ऑफ बट दिस रिपोर्ट बाय इटसेल्फ मस्ट हैव क्रिएटेड 20 30 बिलियन ऑफ मार्केट व्हाट एवर टेक द मार्केट क्या बिकॉज़ एवरीबॉडी वाज एक्साइटेड बट पार्ट फोरसाइट पार्ट लक वी सेल inflection points that would bring what we call step jumps yeah there's not been actually incremental jumps there's always been step jumps i think 14 i remember the billion dollar investment into flipkart and yeah. then 15 there was a big bubble 16 17 again it went down yeah. 18 it started coming back obviously post covid there was yeah. a, now again yeah. there's a m yeah. and every time i see if i see all three phases it's or four phases now because i was not there in 5 6 to see this yeah. seems like Oh, India has arrived. There's enough yeah. money to be made in India. Yeah. I really like what you said. There's always uh, greed yeah. in, in in financial markets. Yeah. So this is a great opportunity. And then there's this, yeah. and then suddenly, oh no, it's not as good as yeah. we thought. Yeah. Then again, it goes back up with some inflection point. But this is the you know the traditional view. And uh, actually, I asked uh, I asked one of my founder, Nitin, or I asked the founder of Matrix, what advice do you have for me? And he gave a long story. <laughs> was not very successful. It was meant to be a story. A successful hedge fund guy. But said, "What secret? What secret? He was sitting in his door, opening the door, watching something. He was closing it. And Chabi was with him. So when they, when he died, they opened it. It said, 'Buy low, sell high.' So the issue when this is, yeah, be ulta hota hai. So 2021, everybody was buying. Yeah. So that's the challenge. That's the challenge. But again, I think these are the cycles. Like today, if you ask me, and I'll Come to so let me actually ask you guys a you a question and you can also uh, answer. So why is this time again not the same as before where it's just a false traction and again it now it has crashed? I think inherently the which is why I like how you think, which is on founders first. You have to back people to change their behavior or learn from mistakes, and every cycle. the smartest or the most hungry people pivot and learn and do something better and if you have seen two or three cycles your learning actually is actually getting compounding yeah. compounding right so i think that compounding in fact i think kunal says this a lot right that it's not the years of experience or the number of experiences that you've seen so when i was talking to like gv also about 3 4 months back and you have also mentioned this that people who have seen the 15 16 bull and bear yeah have actually just been fundamentally early to yeah. navigate the current situation yeah so i just think a lot more investors as well as founders and operators mm. are learning how to just navigate these cycles that would be my so that's your founder view what about the market no i i have a very different view uh yeah. my your business is skill i think all of your business is skill 10x K- in the last two years kitna hi base tha uh, scaling a business from 100 to 300 crore nothing like i don't think it's a sizable business at all So I don't think our business is affected by macro economics. Till we are a thousand crore b- yeah. business minimum. Yeah. Right. My view is whether we like it or not, we are at the mercy of, from a capital uh, uh, access standpoint, we are yeah. at the mercy of LPs. Yeah. Right. When COVID hit, then money was printed. Mm. Money was printed. Inflation went up. Inflation went up. Interest rates went up mm. to control economy. Interest rates went up. People still had different access to. government bonds so private private valuations kind of went down our ability to invest in private markets went low and that spillover effect came to india ki boss abhi now so and then then that results in different like a manifestation of that hypothesis now let's look for profitable businesses yeah. one way there is now a capital is there yeah but deployment pressures are such that you have to have opportunity cost which matches a government bond in the us for example yeah. for an lp right so now मेरा बिजनेस कैसा भी हो इफ दैट इज इफ द अंडरलाइंग थीसिस इज चेंज फ्रॉम पब्लिक मार्केट्स हैव बूम्ड एंड आर पब्लिक टू प्राइवेट रेशियो इज 
eight is to two, mm. and two has become one point five. Find more assets, and then whatever. So it's all capital flows. I think I that's my belief. The two founders here are pessimistic. The one investor is not pessimistic. So, so that's that, 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 that is very scary. If my investor there, there is nobody on on net. Uh, but that's exactly what I'm saying, Shantanu. That people who have seen cycles, like. The only you answer to that point yeah. is don't be the situation to raise capital, right? Yeah, that's what the experience would teach you. That you as a founder, correct. Also, as an investor, what he said, right? Like, and I hope it's okay if I say this. Twenty twenty one, when we used to chat, he's asked me, "Would you invest in this company IPO?" I said no. And imagine I'm telling my board member that his favorite company I'm not going to invest because I think it's overvalued, or the fact. when i would ask him are you selling in this market so the biggest problem is we have to be inherently go against how the market thinks and it's very hard to do that as human being no i completely agree so for example my company in 2021 would have raised money at at least 50% higher valuation than what i will raise today now it's not about it's not about yeah. raise or not yeah the question is Will it be fair to my investor? Then yeah. it will be fair in terms of what the trajectory is. That's yeah. and that's the market's effect. That's one of us. And I agree with you. No, so, I, actually, so again, I, like I said, the two founders are more cynical or pessimistic. Yeah. I'm actually much more optimistic. <laughs> so there is fundamentals and there is sentiment. Correct. I think sentiment is driven by capital flows. So उसको पार्क करते हो. Correct. उसको आप नेविगेट कर सकते हो वो. I am actually much more bullish about the fundamentals and. You know there is now a phrase I used to say it's the digital public infrastructure, right? So now if you go back and see what's happened over the last seven years, UPI came. I still remember in the Mazi days my credit. That time we had to rebuild out what razor pay did later. Even the payment gateway because the acceptance acceptance rates were fifty five percent. Correct. Ah, eighty five, ninety, ninety five were right. So you had UPI coming. Correct. You had broadband coming. Demonetization taught people how to use the, uh, you know, all this uh, payment uh, gateway, all of that. You had every citizen having to do Jandan mobile architecture. Then you had GST coming. So to me, and and I don't know if I am over optimistic or if you are too pessimistic, because to me, these are things that have compounded, and COVID put the icing on the cake. Because my wife, who was never, by the way, registered on Google Pay, Swiggy, just that today everything is online. That is not changing. That's not a bubble. Okay. So the fundamentals have changed, right? The problem is the sentiment screws up the fundamentals. So everybody buys growth. So how many bonds have we seen here? I have seen Quicker Oil X. Then Flipkart, Amazon at some time, a snap deal was there. Then uh, Hello, Ola Uber was there. Then, अभी food delivery का चल रहा है, right? आई जब बीच में Google Pay और phone pay का काफी हुआ. People don't realize. Correct. But because वो advertise नहीं करते, but अगर आप uh, cash can back ये सब देखो and phone pay, you know, at one point they were both forty percent or whatever, thirty five percent then one pulled away. So that buys growth upfront. Correct. And therefore, every time we go through these things, one or two years look like shit. Now the question is. Are they bad because there was no underlying fundamentals, or are they bad because unsustainable practices were put on top of great fundamentals? Correct. For the first time in my life, I feel as the latter that fundamentals are very strong, and unsustainable practices have been put in. And I'll, I'll tell you, by the way, in, in the well-run companies, 2021, 2022, consumer companies, they were up here. CAC was going like this. Now CAC is going back down. Correct. Why? So. Why is CAC? If the market was so shallow, CAC would not go down, and people can't grow that. Correct. So, मेरे हिसाब से इन्फेक्शन आ गया. जब इन्फेक्शन आता है तो दिखता नहीं है. हाँ. वो हमेशा गांव पीछे से आगे जाके पीछे देखो तो लगता है. So, I am very optimistic. Uh, I also believe, um, although he and I have this point of view, which is a little bit maybe not as encouraging for people, but it's the truth, which is there are too many bull market entrepreneurs in the market right now. So people who have 2017 plus 18 plus sub sub bank vision fund are 2017 world change and all the liquidity all of that came. But if you look step function to step function 2016 versus 2023, take out the capital. Indian market has deepened a lot. Correct. Fully. It has deepened a lot. Now people since age two then, kali itne mein use and ye wo wo 
चाइना में भी उस टाइम पे वैसे ही दिखता था वो दस साल में आता राइट सो इट इट कम फ्रॉम मच मोर ऑप्टिमिस्टिक आई थिंक द मार्केट हैज द फंडामेंटल ऑफ द मार्केट ऑफ टूली इन्फ्लेक्टेड आई थिंक दैट डिजिटल स्टाफ इज रियली ऑन फायर इट इज क्रिएटिंग अपॉर्चुनिटीज टू बिल्ड कंपनीज एंड वन ऑफ द थिंग्स वी हैव टोल्ड आर इन्वेस्टर्स इज दैट वी आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन डिजिटाइजेशन ऑफ इन एग्जिस्टिंग जी डी not incremental digital gdp correct to so india mein waise bahut hai all the b2b businesses i mean you don't see those live in china you don't see them in the us yeah because we are leapfrogging a poor hard infrastructure with a world class soft infrastructure are you very you're, you're absolutely right and one example which is very recent you will enjoy this coming from the food industry which blew my mind if you watch the ipl you will see a lot of this sting card have you seen the sting ad no Okay, so Sting is a energy drink uh, which is under the Pepsi umbrella. Uh, Got Akshay Kumar and I had a very funky in our band. And how many? What is this drink? What is this drink? And I am a big, big, big fan of of Red Bull. Uh, Red Bull has scaled to now a twenty five hundred crore business in India. It's one of the few drinks that has gone from premiumizing its main skew to one twenty five bucks from ninety nine to one twenty five bucks. But it is one hundred crore का नंदा है वो. So it is amazing. What okay, India has happened? It is. I mean, <laughs> well, it is like the Red Bull indicator. It is four hundred crores ten years back. Yeah, went to seven hundred. Nearest Kakkar has a strong hypothesis on why it happened. So you talk to the paper board, the paper board folks, because that's their business. Yeah. But now Sting came in. Sting is one fourth the price of Red Bull. Yeah. It is the largest cold drink in India. It has gone ahead of Sprite and Thumbs Up. Wow, from certain estimates. But guess the cohorts. Sting is a half the caffeine, one fourth the price. That's the oh, promise. Clear. Right. The cohorts are fifteen year old and seventeen year old, tenth and twelfth standard kids who are buying this by three to four times a day. Yeah. Okay. And daily wage earners who substitute their lunch with a Sting so that their second shift. So fire energy, energy with with fire. Those are the two, but they are buying it. Yeah. And then, and I'm like boss. That, so you're right. The consumer market is deepening, but for every category, every yeah, category in business, you know, I don't know if you guys saw this. You know how much the luxury car. Well, you guys, everybody saw the Apple numbers. Apple is as premium a product. So I'm saying I do believe that our pyramid is like this. Like this. But because that promise has been made so many times, we wonder. <laughs> a lot of things. I don't know whether you. I'm sure you follow public markets. You you follow it very closely. I don't know when you saw the Ethos Ethos IPO. Ethos is that uh, re- uh, luxury watch. Ha, uh, you see retail it, stores, ha, uh, retail, right? So one thing about them, I did not know, was that the average selling price of the ta- the AOV in an Ethos store is one point eight lakh rupees. Wow, it's a thousand crore business. The stock price has gone up seventy percent since IPO in this market. Seventy percent upside in one year, okay, one one half year, something six six quarters maybe. Do you know that thousand crores? I say eighty percent business comes from five hundred families. It's a B two B business. Could you imagine? Uh, it's a B two B business. So yes, his name is one of the family. I, 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 I would not be the man. He does like I think with the Ryan family now thirty forty crores a year. Right? Actually, that's just the B two B sales. Man. So the luxury market, yeah, premiumization. I have been here on this. No, and I've actually neither of you will know this history. One of our first investments in two thousand six seven was to bring all the luxury brands to India. Oh really? We invested in a company called Brand Marketing India. So we brought Gucci. Ferragamo, uh, actually Calvin Klein FC UK, and um, the nine brands I forget: Wilderwear, La Senza, whatever. We lost our shirt. Actually, we made our money back. All the luxury brands lost money. It was supposed to be only two, and the uh, FC UK and CK rescued us, right? And ultimately, we exited that and whatever. But basically, now again, I think the. Pessimism comes from sometimes fatigue of having seen the story before. When I'm at least I feel even matching patterns to China that it's happening. Yeah. And the early indicators that Mercedes sales increased 27 percent year over year. That's a big lead, and it's a it's on their highest base. When things start accelerating of larger bases, you know something is happening. Correct. That that is. So I think the market is leaping. I actually am very happy to hear this data point because I worry. That the market is the pyramid. I mean, थोड़ा सा ज़्यादा ही वो for top five percent पे, right? वो broaden over आ क्यों नहीं? Which is why you. But when I look at other some, a lot of the companies now in the portfolio are actually charging premium prices. 
Right? When I go and search for the gummies that I eat, I, this is the highest price, but it's the best product. People are mine. People, Indians are always known to be cheap. I think that's cheap. And that is very good for all of us. Uh, because other, you can't make money just with cheap. You're absolutely right. I, when, we, when we entered, when we entered as Bombay yeah. Company, and the wisdom at that time was, Bada market dundo, usme sahi game banao. Math market. Ha, find a big market maker. I met Mr. Rakesh Kapoor, the CEO of Record Bin Pizza, till 2019. Yeah. Like, pura galat hai. I don't know whether you meant this a gentleman. <coughs> just an amazing guy. Like, he was like, shaving foam mein tumhara 10% bhi share hoga, lekin profit ka you will never get, never kill you. Yeah. Create the gel market. I said, I'm start up. Haan, toh isliye toh karo. Yeah. Young companies have to create the market. Yeah. Tum gen market ko aaj under 60 crore ka market hai. Uspe tum 60 se dekh dekh to pehle ja. Usme 50 percent share lo and build the most innovative. So you just answered your first question of why back founders. Yeah. Because founders create one. No, but for me to listen to you, I took I I took the idea went to my team and I was like, guys, this is what Mr. Kishore was saying. The difference is what you are saying is a classical operator. By the way, he runs his own fund now. Yeah, he's starting something. Operator slash Founder turned slash CEO turned investor. investor. Yeah. He is one of them. Yes. Yeah. Versus first principle problem solving consultant. Yeah. And ye, I mean, I have actually done enough of what advice I've got from what kind of investor. And you can see a clear difference in the optimism that an ex operator slash. Uh, and this is a bold call, right? Go into a small market and create it. Yeah, it's really because you, the usual pattern matching will always tell you go after a large one. Yeah, yeah. And I think Vivan, then as you were speaking, I was just thinking, when market is going when GDP is going to go from three and a half trillion to ten trillion market short. It's so much you have to grab. Yes, what you have done over the last seventy five years of your existence, you're gonna do two X on that in the next ten years. Better think forward not back. Actually our market consumption heavy thigh now consumption heavy. It is a 60 plane. No, 60 plane. Are savings rates coming down as well? At least in the top top 5-10%. It, it, it is coming down uh, because the new generation, all of that is more more spenders. Uh, but what are savings? Uh, so, you know, the separate two things. Government savings and um, private personal savings. China, private savings is great. India has, was great, now it's come down. But I'll tell you one of the other reasons I'm very optimistic is... The some of the reforms that have happened, black money has gone out of the system. Our tax revenues are increasing 30 percent year over year. When you by the way, when I came back to India, it was a it was like a real shock to me when I realized that India's tax revenues were less than Microsoft's. Right here, my car here. Us time when I bank car car, so I didn't do such analysis. So I'm like the entire 1.1 billion people subsist on less on the or the country's, you know, yeah. inflow, inflow is less than the revenues of Microsoft at the time in 2000. So it was a huge shocker. By the way, that's not very different right now. Uh, I I think our 35 percent, I think our tax revenue will be seven, eight hundred billion, yeah, eight hundred, whatever. So some of these companies, Apple for sure has more. <laughs> so, but anyway, the point is last four, five years, that's how it's been compounding. And therefore, you see all the infrastructure changing. Therefore, you, so these are the, this is the mu classic multiplier effect of GDP. If if people are going to, you know, live better and, you know, we talk about ease of living and ease of doing business, all of that, you will just see this come out. Now, the question is, does it, 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 I was actually worried that COVID would be a negative external shock. Yeah. Uh, it turned out to be a big positive uh, in terms of ch not just di digital. I'm saying between COVID and the China issue, India has benefited. And India has done the right things to now benefit. So, and it's Jirag only told me this. The first billion in our GDP took 67 years. Yeah. The next billion took eight. The next billion took, I think, four. Yeah. Next billion might take one and a half. Yeah. And then we are actually in the month. Yeah. In terms of adding a billion dollars of GDP. Yeah. Yeah. And so, you know, um, Bill Gates uh, says this that we often overestimate in the near term and underestimate in the long term. Overall, I'm not just saying this set. That that I actually think it's it's going better than we think. Yeah. Also, a lot of this comes out in 
So we celebrate startup growth a lot. Yeah. Right? But if you see some of the, la- of course, the Jio story is amazing. It's yeah. A very publicized and so on. Yeah. I met Amit Singhle at Asian Paints three, four weeks back. He's the CEO of Asian Paints. These guys are just what I mean. The the rocket ship that company is in yeah. the but the insight and how it's compounded spectacular. Yeah. So they're like, hey, boss, ek to every every year India is building one and a half crore houses. They're building one and a half crore houses every year. Okay, what to clear? Hai. Second is India is now paint, repainting their houses instead of once in seven years, once in four years. Mm-hmm. So du- doubling of market to immediately go out, right? Third is now, now that, that that company is now thinking instead of share of wall, how do I take share of space? Yeah. So I'm getting now. Do you know that they have this thing called beautiful homes where they're getting into furniture and fenestration and wallpapers and some beyond just bears. That is now 2,000 crore business. Wow. 2,000 crore business. Yeah. Just straight because of course this too is yeah. an market, consumer inside. Yeah. So we are of course young founders and venture capitalists building yeah. up but some of this is being seen in companies where the base is 30,000 yeah. crore still growing 10%. But you know that's that both a positive and a negative. See if you look at U.S. almost all the companies are professionally run, right? Now, Asian Prince is actually a very professionally run company, okay. but the family is involved. And actually, I think for us, all these promoters are very sharp. You know, all, all of the old world promoters, they are so good, and their involvement is a uh, is going to capture share from the talent. But who are not They are they are very very uh, nimble actually. Okay. Yeah, in this also the good news is. He was just telling me somebody's been chasing him for investment, this, that, whatever, right? They are all spotting this as an opportunity. That this phase is where the, the uh, financial investors are a little bit uh, slower or whatever or more careful. These guys are very, very sharp in spotting. I mean, like what happened with Geo in COVID. Like, who would have thought? And it was debt free overnight. Yeah. 15 yeah. days in wave one, they were debt free. Yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. Are you, seeing, are you seeing some of the early effects in terms of? Across categories uh, in your um, or, or industries in your in your portfolio, are you seeing consolidation happen? Because that's one of the immediate, you know, when 15, 20 years in, you yeah. start seeing mature industries where now consolidation yeah. starts happening. So consolidation is of two types. One is uh, startups acquiring startups, and the other is you know two M and A, right? Which is old world. So I mean, it's public news. One of our companies, Oziva, was acquired uh, by, 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 well, we sold our state to HUL. I actually think it's a big positive. Uh, my colleague Vikram uh, used to often say this, that in India, you have to be the top decile as a company and founder in execution, top decile to have a shorter venue creation. And everything else will either lose money and maybe top quartile may make some money and everything else will. I think that has changed. Because, and by the way, and we should again all take we feel good about this. You met the Asian Pains guy. If you look at some of the people working in these old world businesses who are analyzing markets, watching trends, all that. That's all the sharpest brains. Are. Absolute. Right? And they are timing. Kick up karna chahiye. At five years ago, nahi karna tha. So they are seeing this change. So that also tells you that something has changed. Kind of. Right? So, uh, so in my view, now what has changed is, I think top quartile can go public. Top next 10 15 percent, you will still get a good exit. And if you built a decent business, you will get acquired. You will get acquired. The question is, do you own some customer that somebody else wants? So people are not buying for these companies, thousands of crores, they're not buying your revenue. Okay. They are saying, Do you plug a hole in my portfolio around my customer or some customer that I want? Right? That has to be the filter, which is basic value creation. Right? Do you really have uh, a, a 10x experience uh, for some of them, but absolutely, uh, consolidation is also happening within the the startups. But I I find that is less exciting for connect because that's swapping one paper for another paper, neither of whose whose value I know. Okay. Uh, and <laughs> and <laughs> a lot of confidence on <laughs> the value of the paper. And I, a lot of this, by the way, on you showing <laughs> Neiman the mirror. <laughs> this is <laughs> <full money. laughs> yeah, Because this is in the top quartile. <laughs> top top design. <laughs> Expectation set. <laughs> top design. So that's not the. But in the middle, there is no company acquire. So, but um, 
a lot of the larger companies in our portfolio have like all business is an acquisition machine. They must be doing 50 a year, uh, but it's generally for cash and very small and it's plugging a hole, it's vertical integration. Actually, Ashish says this very well. I will never buy revenue, I'll buy margin. Right, so never because, and, and his thought process, if I'm buying revenue, uh, Louis for the wrong uh, reason. Huh? Louis for the wrong reason, Amazon. The wrong reason, but actually the insight is great. I'm generally acquiring, acquiring a competitor and culturally we will never be able to take it because we've been fighting for the same cost. If I'm acquiring vertically, I'm generally acquiring a supplier or somebody I'm selling to, and it's a synergistic relationship. I thought it was a well, most MA fails because of uh, yeah. culture. Correct. But on the consolidation piece, do you think one of the deterrents for that, especially for the venture backed ecosystem, yeah. would be the enormous amounts of cash raised by companies? Yeah. So I'm not saying it will necessarily. So uh, yes, absolutely. And I think people should have realistic expectations. I just put out a tweet this morning saying it's all, it was all notional on the way up, it's all notional on the way down. Your actual cash, now you know that investors have a protection of what is called liquidation preference. And by the way, I I found out that some of our, some founders didn't realize that. So they would not, they would, no, in a good way, they would not be entertaining things that they should because they would, they were thinking that my investors will lose money. Ah. Uh. Right. So, so I have to actually say as it was, they're all going to lose money. Wow. Then then the reality came out. To karna I think it's interesting that you mention the liquidation preference act. A lot of the viewers would not know uh, some of these terminologies. And I think it's important for because the objective of this show is to get more entre- you know, Oscar entrepreneurship, at least for future entrepreneurs to know on what side of terms to sign up for and what not. And uh, we've been lucky. I'm good investors who have <laughs> good terms. But uh, at least I have seen enough uh, in the last 10, 15 years where uh, lick press stacks technically have, you know, uh, been detrimental for value creation for, you know, either early investors or for founders as well. Or ESOP even worse. Yeah. Do you want to explain for the audience what we are even talking about? Like Pref and what are the options? I'm asking for Goji of... <laughs> I actually think it's irrelevant, which is why, which was the point I was making earlier. So, like Pref is, if I am putting in X, let's say I'm putting in uh, 10 rupees at a 100 rupee post money valuation, so I get 10%. So, that's clear. That's why common equivalent ownership. But I'm not actually getting common stock, I'm getting preferred stock. And preferred stock is like ref. That's how you get it. So if the company is liquidated, I first have the right. It's almost like a debt. Correct. I have the right debt without interest, where I have the right to the first 10 rupees. So if that company were sold for 20, I would not make just 20% of 20. I would actually make my 10 back. Correct. Right. You'll make 50% instead of 10%. Yeah. yeah. So that's how that's how like ref works. One I think Revan was telling me is that, you know, there are a bunch of companies that there are. So that's a standard, what is called, 1x liquidation preference, correct. Then there are googlies on that. Uh, one is what is called participating preferred. Participating preferred, which is called double dipping, which is I'll make my money back and then I will take more money from what is left. So if we take just the example we took, I would get the 10 rupees, then I will also get 20% of the 10 rupees that's left, correct. And I'll get 12. Then there is something else which is called uh, senior Liquid liquidation preference, and then you can combine these. Okay. Where it's senior, senior may two x or sakta, three x or sakta. So now let's say another investor had invested ten. Let's say at even two hundred rupee price, and they own five rupees, five percent. But they had a two x lick pref senior. What does that mean? They have twenty rupees sitting on top of my ten rupees, sitting on top of my, one of the founders' equity, which they get first. Okay. So it's 2x senior. So if the company sells for 20, after that, you get nothing. I get, even I get nothing. Correct. So my view is, and uh, you know, one of the most famous investors in the world, uh, it was a guy called John Doe who was at Kleiner Perkins, who is, I mean, he's retired now. So clear trip, we were involved in investing together. Vazi, by the way, we had a participating preferred, which was the, you know, I had double dipping. I didn't even know what the term was. Kleiner Bogans had that in Bali. No, no, no. Hmm. Uh, I'm actually mixing two ones, but first let's get his Bazi. Huh. So, in those days, basically the amateur VCs tried to optimize all. Okay. The seasoned VCs realize you don't, and we'll come to the John Doe story. 
सो बाजी में पार्टिसिपेटिंग प्रेफर्ड वो बाद में चमका दिए पार्टिसिपेटिंग प्रेफर्ड सो आई हैड टू गो एंड रीनेगोशिएट व्हेन द चिप्स वर नाउ विद माय विद माय इन्वेस्टर तो आई बीन ऑन बोथ साइड देन इन विद जॉन लोर वो क्लियर ट्रिप की फंडिंग हो रही थी एंड आई वाज यू नो आई वाज टेक्निकली वर्किंग विद हिम एंड संदीप मूर्ति ऑन द क्लियर ट्रिप इन्वेस्टमेंट आई सेड आपने इसमें स्ट्रेट क्यों डाला है इसमें तो पार्टिसिपेटिंग प्रेफर्ड होना चाहिए सेड नो you don't make money on terms you make money by getting into the right businesses this is the difference between venture capital which is a reward business and a power no business and private equity private equity you do need these terms correct okay? because they don't want to lose money then you know why irr business is kind of table business so i was telling him that no investor worth their salt has these terms now at the early stage in the later stages what i have found is uh some people try to slip it in we have a simple uh, approach it's a it's a very thoughtful formula called nfw no effing way wow. <laughs> so so we didn't say don't take the money but we have we have not there is we have never agreed to it uh i think sometimes this is what happens these are all structured deals this is when founders are trying to keep artificially high valuation work or valuation drop kar do and there was like what about that full ratchet versus aaj hi subah twitter pe i think somebody was responding to my tweet i, I don't think they understand the difference which is full ratchet is never heard of what does full ratchet mean i raise money at 100 uh, and now i'm raising money at 20 whatever whoever put in money at 100 gets the same st- gets stake as if they put money at 20 never happens correct that is also an fw term correct okay. for founders i don't even want it because i know it will dilute every money the company will go nowhere correct okay. so what happens is what is called a weighted average entity dilution ki aapne idhar kitna raise kiya idhar kitna raise kiya and wo agar aapne idhar zyada raise kiya which is most likely the case the price the new price will be very close to that by yeah. definition because ab iske zyada raise nahi kar rahe but some protection some some interest in protection some protection it in with 10 15 20% um so i do i fundamentally believe that you don't make money on tops i don't want a couple of topics i should i can actually put it out there Uh, the VCs are starting to talk to each other and collaborate, and our goal is actually to make rounds better, not worse, and just come to market. Because same deal, me, three, four, five, six top tier VCs are talking to each other. One is a view. In the US, simple NVC entity term sheet, a National Venture Capital Association. Correct. If you are off market on that, a good founder will say, "Now you take a hike. I'm not going to take your money." Right, I think we should be like that. As I was saying, is the is is there a central body like that in India, which will sort of at some point of time? I know we have. I've seen. But is it as? No, I'll tell you what as, happened. We tried this three years ago, four years ago, um, and then we realized what the AIF guys needed uh, versus what we needed was different. So that that created an IBC. It tends to be more AIF. And by the way, that all of that is changing. I'm just giving you the chronology. Then amongst the VCs we tried, and then we realized that everybody was at a different stage in their evolution of this. ये ये matter करता है कि नहीं मेरे को? अब वो evolution हो गया है. Um, so I think we will see some kind of convergence. It doesn't have to be central bodies beyond a point because you know how a lot of this is precedent based. Yeah. अगर सारे early stage वाले agree हो गए, तो अपने आप terms आ जाएंगे. उसके बाद सब everybody will follow those terms. That kind of. And the and I'm actually trying to move more, and it's not founder friendly. It is what is called market. What is market, correct? Right? And what is fair for both sides? And otherwise, it yeah. Yeah, I think one of the things with liquidation preference is uh, exit. Oh, exit becomes onerous the more money you raise. Correct. So now, for example, in consumer businesses, I'm not uh, sure about other industries because consumer businesses are India richly values even on public markets. India richly values consumer businesses, but okay, that's the bar. Uh, We know very clearly that the business has to have revenue, which is two times of capital raised to date. Yeah, always. Yeah. If the business is not there, or you're not, you don't have a line of sight, which is absolutely clear, point to point. Yeah. Then don't raise the money. Yeah. Otherwise, you're putting the company under capital pressure. Yeah. But that match is easier for consumer because it's you have a line of sight and yeah. growth is in some way predictable given the yeah. touch points and yeah. not just. But in other industries like SaaS, for example, or in elect like EV, for example, it'll be very difficult to do. So how and also like yeah. a lot of founders are told raise as much as you can when you're getting it yeah which goes completely against the philosophy of making sure that you're raising smartly with a view to value creation for everyone yeah. how do you balance this especially early on 
So top one, so I'll give you first. Let's go to the first piece. So when you said it's an interesting thumb rule, you said uh, revenue two times off. Um, what's the gross margin in your business? Probably sixty sixty percent, sixty percent, right? So there is a rule in general of saying eight to ten times gross margin, and we can go through a lot of detail. It's also on matrix moments on why that makes sense, right? Then other up there revenue two hundred. So the multiple in my view is eight to ten times that, uh, eight to ten times gross margin. So what thousand month? Correct. So now you have a 10x of what you have raised as capital as a value. Correct. You know what the benchmarks for this are in the global markets? 10x is the lowest. Wow. It has to be 10 to 30x. And all enterprise SaaS businesses are actually in predict 30x. That's how venture capital used to be. To your point before these, you know, the free money engine time came. So all of these have gone down, right? But that is the benchmark. The consumer high capital intensity businesses 8 to 10x and up to 25, 30x. If you look at some of the best IPOs in the US where venture capitalists spend a lot of money, it would be in that range. Um, now, in so that's the answer. And I think if you apply that to India and the consumer businesses, the numbers are 3x, 4x. If you look at the large market cap, like the amount of money they have raised versus their Current valuation, we'll say 3-4x, maybe 2-3x. <clears throat> now, I again go to the earlier point of ownerships and all that uh, that we were. I think that's also because the markets were not legal. We were artificially trying to create markets, right? Abo change ho So I'm very, op- I'm more optimistic about the future, which is why what you're saying now becomes more relevant. See, in the era where you are trying to create markets, capital was a moat. Correct. Capital was a moat. Everybody was trying to get more and more capital. Whoever is the best funding and capital was free. Correct. Right. <laughs> so actually, one of our founders I was chatting with. I said, was eight years now. A view got changed. Earlier, no, jitna paisa uthana tha uthao. Abhi suddenly profitability is like market ke niche. Wo jo zero percent interest tha, wo five percent interest rate ho gaya. Correct. We have made this point earlier. So, I think it's rational behavior. When money is free, why wouldn't you take more? Correct. Right? And why wouldn't you go spend as much as you can? When money is more expensive, you have to think about it differently. I think, and uh, this overall thing on valuation, I, I'm completely with you. <clears throat> and I think he's doing it in his businesses. A lot of the founders who have seen cycles, they don't focus on valuation. They focus on dilution. And raise multiple, you can keep raising every 18 months, two years. Single digit dilution, single digit yeah. dilution, right? Compounding like that, as opposed to trying to get a vanity round done and get get a great valuation. I think that is the right. Colgate is an investor. We used to be part of board meetings. Colgate, we are the first and only investment for them in India. And they serve serious five years. They said, your investing is exactly like a Colgate toothpaste. Because when you take a new toothpaste, you brush it every time. You brush it every time. I don't know what it is. I know you are thinking better and better. They are actually right. And it's actually right because mm-hmm. la- large amounts of money mm-hmm. and the point was very fair and reflective of and it's all of us. Yeah, yeah. Is when you have when you suddenly raise let's say one fifty crores, it's the bank. Mm-hmm. No one has seen that kind of money in your personal life. No. You have not had those salaries and very few of us come from family where that money was available. Yeah. Seeing one fifty crores in the bank yeah. makes you feel A on top of the world. Yeah. Be under pressure to start deploying because now that means that the clock is now ticking. <laughs> yeah. And then you start doing things. Yeah. But then again who you are of the belief that great founders create markets. Yeah. And to create markets, you have to put money in the markets. So. No, so or to that point, actually, if you look at and some of the most seasoned founders now talk this language, which is actually music to my ears. If you listen to the God of them all, Warren Buffett, Charlie Munjal, who are now, you know, pros in their 90s or 100, who have seen really scaled companies over decades, they say the job of a founder is actually capital allocation. That's it. Yeah. Right. So if you have a good place to allocate the capital where you will generate that IRR, do it. If you don't have it, you don't have it. So I think the seasoned ones get it. But the, but the less seasoned ones, the vanity kicks. Correct. I think one, and sorry to pick on that point, but I've always thought about this and maybe this is the show to say that. Do you think that a lot of our building, operating and investing principles are based on some learning from the West. Yeah. 
where the markets are just very different. Like just yeah. on this thought, yeah. I love it. I always think of myself as I am the CEO. My job is capital allocation. Yeah. But if there are ideas, in that time, look, in that time, look, look, in India, there are ideas that are not enough. Again, I, I know we are saying the market will expand, but I think it's fundamentally like. No, you're making this, me think. You may be right. Like just yeah. to you know, I I remember the tweet from uh, I'd mentioned this on the previous show. You know, TJ had said that US made and two hundred. ट्यूनिंग Versus here we have to do bigger things. You may be right that here you have to do both. Like what are the big bets I have to take? Not just capital. Yeah. I may may or may not either. But what are the big strategic bets to take? And yeah. capital is secondary or generates the capital. Yeah. Because if the markets and a lot more blocking and tackling may still be required. Yeah. Like if I think about the no, there for example that's a, that's what we said before it. Average founder in a great market. Would be a tick the box in the West. We are we are saying great founder and average man because the market will follow. Like yeah. like in 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 his case, for example, one sharing form across one distribution channel would have given you ten times the revenue compared to here where you have to open five more distribution Correct. channels, four more colors, Correct. four more fragrances, Correct. and five slew packs. 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 Five slew छोटे छोटे स्टोर जहाँ पे थ्रू कोड्स 5000 पर स्टोर यू हैव टू पाइपलाइन यू हैव टू इन्वेंटरी प्लस यू हैव टू मेक शर्ट दैट देयर इज अनफ इन 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 अमेज़न फ्लिपकार्ट टू नाउ देयर इज वर्किंग कैपिटल प्रेशर्स प्लस रिसीवेबल्स आर एंड ईच चैनल रिक्वायर्स टीम मेंबर टीम तो हाईली मोटिवेटेड टीम उस टीम लाइक एवरीथिंग जस्ट मल्टीप्लाइज नो बट आई देंट टेकिंग जस्ट फर्दर वी वर डिस्कसिंग दिस ऑफलाइन राइट लेटली वी हैव बीन मीटिंग पब्लिक पॉकेट इन्वेस्टर्स हां हम लोग ये सब जोगी बोल रहे उनको खाली कैपिटल एलोकेशन ऑल दे लुक सो द क्वेश्चन इज इफ दैट इज द गोल You have to wake up to it at some stage. How do you then say is ROE? ROE kya hai? Rosi kya hai? ROE kya hai? What is the track record of capital allocation? And can I therefore get comfort on future capital allocation? Completed. No, but yeah. but the Rosi match is not is not straightforward, na? Yeah. Because Rosi does not account for timing of returns beyond annual. Yeah. So as as Bombay, I give you very like yeah. my example. But yeah. I don't know how to measure Rosi for long term bets. No. Oh, so so okay. let's push the argument, and I'll take. Another company in our portfolio, Country Delight. Right. So the Rossi at the processing plant and every so it's Rossi on capital allocation, right? Again, up to EBITDA burn, we get a little bit more than a hundred. But it is a sixty seventy percent Rossi business when we set up a plant and the gestation is twelve to eighteen months, and after that you get it. And by the way, the public market investors are happy to buy that argument. They think up are they okay? Nee. Are you showing this to me in right. and uh, in various ways? Have you demonstrated? Well, उसमें proxy utilization of plant का है ना? उसमें proxy वो है. उसमें proxy वो है. I would say it's a good point that when you are in the, I think वो customer level पे दिखाना. Like let's say this is which are even not burning because it's cash. It's empty way to cash. Some proxy of that. But I'll tell you, after um, all the discussions, I was telling him like. Pooch lo, so and these are some of the smartest investors. Now it was a big uh, positive awakening, which was that you guys are seeing this. You are not only marketing. You like dilutive growth. We like non-dilutive growth. We are okay with less growth if it is not dilutive. Correct. Right. Or you guys need markups. If you want, you need dilution. Right. So then I was saying, what about this trend, that trend, but this bad? So like, which company? I said, wait, trend. Show me the company. Show me the last year financials, last three year financials. Then I will tell you whether I. So it's all bottoms up. It's all and up. The reason I'm bringing this point up in the that ultimately the public jana na. That is the dream for most founders. Capital markets are capital allocation to me. Yeah. So, do are you seeing? So for me, like for example, going public is a thing. I'm not sure about for you, but because you 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 have kind of seen it on the other end. Are you seeing more and more people founders feeling they are. company ko profitable bana making it make it into a cash spitting business and keep it private for as long as possible the mars so whatever episode which we have just released today 
you will run out. So yes, but above five hundred million dollars uh, of capital to be raised in, let's say, to exit people, you will tap out on private markets. So you you may have runway, but when companies reach five, six, seven, eight, ten billion dollar valuation, you tap. Founders, if they if they will tap out in terms of access to capital, what do the company need? Capital? Yeah, that's what I was saying. So how will you exit your investors? A lot of them are doing pure secondary. I mean, you read about that's what. Uh, Next round, when you need a billion dollar exit across investors, you will tap out. See, a company that's 10 billion has, what do you think would be the investor ownership? 30, 40% at least. 60, 70, but much more than that. billion <laughs> So only in the public markets. So, my personal view, I would never want to be public. Uh, if I was running a company, I don't think I'll have a choice. I mean, I got these, these, Charlie's billion dollar company, but I don't think I'll have a choice. Permanent capital, Dusa, huge advantage. SHA is dissolved. Hmm. You would have to, uh, not answerable to your, truly your boss. I mean, obviously, you have a board, but SHA is dissolved. I think that's a huge, all like, but actually, do I have a dissolved one? There's no SHA. You can't have a SHA. Hmm. In a public market, you have, your bosses are the public shareholders. There's no shareholders agreement. There's no preferential treatment for any No, but there, yeah, there's no shareholders agreement. Yeah. Oh, wow. See, now he wants to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I always wanted to, but I didn't think about this way. I didn't think about this way. Boss, but there's no boss. Yeah, that's it. Ye oh, myth, no, no, ye myth hai, there is no boss. <laughs> Ask any of <laughs> yeah, I think the, 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 own, the, the, the amount of effort that goes into keeping a company Compliant in the public yeah. environment is a very yeah. different, is a very different yeah. model. Yeah. Also, I think the long term versus short term. If you ask a lot of the folks who have gone public in the last five years from the new economy companies, let's call it that. I think privately, a lot of founders will tell you that their ability to think long term and take long term bets is now under hugely yeah. order on water pressure. No, yeah. I think I think John Doerr only had written this article about how the quarter on quarter pressure which Wall Street puts on Company is the biggest, biggest detriment to growth and so, innovation. So, you know, I'll give you a contra argument. That is the conventional wisdom. Uh, if you look at how Google went public, Facebook went public. By the way, Dipinder, he had written in this uh, uh, memo. I'm not going to do it. He, he refused to do conference calls. He said, I'll do it once a year, right? When he was going public. <laughs> we were, met him in, in Delhi. He, he was happy. I mean, he opened the market uh, in that time when. So, if you talk to the public market investor, they give you 18 months. Okay. So when, from the time you're going public, they have priced you off 18 months, typically 18 months. So if you start late 23, if there is a company public, that will be on FY25 September. FY26 September. Right. So calendar and quarter. Or June, something like that. Right. So their view is, up to the top of the market. Other Apple attack, whose time may you can't create a consistent, repeatable business model than time? They are not failed. Uh-huh. Right? Um, so, so, and then they look at the past to project the future, be, you know, Hoyga, Jenny Hoyga. Again, like I said, if I was running a company and I had unlimited access to capital, probably, I mean, look at the people who have that. Elon Musk, they can private. SpaceX, then private. Um, what somebody was telling me, I think it was on one of the that was on in podcast that you know SpaceX goes public. It, the pop you want, by the way, bubbles bubbles happen in all market, but liquid bubbles only happen in public place. Yeah, that's true. So when when you see all the people who are now telling me that guys are richest in the world, that's private, but otherwise all the thing is you know so arguments are on all sides. So now what? How many, uh, the W is one IPO, but what are the IPO moments for port- uh, matrix portfolio companies? So, much of that, Python was in November, uh, it was in a very tough market. Um, I think in the last six months, it's been other than this Mankind, and you mentioned, no, so these, yeah, Mankind was the, I think before that, Mankind, I star and two, three other companies were the only ones that went public. You're in Mankind? No, no, I'm just saying, now the market has opened again, Correct. because Correct. Mankind went public. Correct. I wish I had Mankind, <laughs> but, uh, so, so that's been, but I think there's a lot uh, in the hopper on the digital. But side. before, like, have you, have we had exited largely strategic? All the exits have been strategic. So, 
because company well, IPO scale in Thanos. Or financial secondaries also would have been possible. Ah, later stage I mean, investor. That's what I mean. Okay. As a strategic or second secondaries. And same argument, right? That if there is enough liquidity in the private market and the founder wants to stay private, what what is our issue? What's the what's been the most um, heartbreaking uh, moments of being a venture capitalist in India? When you see founders making avoidable mistakes and you tell them and they still do it, and and you know that it's going to it's a wrong bet the company, kind of bet because we in India never exercise a veto, right? We consider ourselves as coaches and persons. By the way, in some cases. And one was going to happen 18 months ago. I told the founder, this is a better company. I think it's, everything is uh, potentially, you know, not not the right thing to do. But it's your company. That, by the way, will live and die. I'll give it to you. And I'm sure maybe one of them, that the founder's company, we don't see ourselves. So, and that sometimes investor investors are not aligned, right? So, well, hard-taking ones are very talented founder. Very deep market, got product market fit going, got good execution going, got misguided, uh, either self or influenced, and then then just do all the wrong things, uh, create unsustainable business, all of that, and then they lose the market opportunity. You cannot want to wait for you to, right? So, and you can see it coming. You can actually see it coming, and you tell them. If you couldn't see it coming, negative surprise, okay, what are you doing? Who's with? It was unavoidable. It also happens. When that's, you put in the cost of doing business bucket. Actually, you both are in the cost of doing business bucket, but one, one is like an unfair cost of doing business. And that's just, it. and again, coming back to this founder empathy, um, you just feel that, um, you know, it's one of those, I wish you had listened. I mean, nothing, but you never tell them. Right? So, I think that's the, Reading between the lines. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking back to all the conversations. This ends up then being in the middle of the market, right? So if the company has the potential to be in the top decile top quartile, right? but end up being in the middle just because you know at also by the way, and so this is the most heartbreaking. How many times has that happened to you? In 15 years, 15, 17 years. Offline businesses, many times. Many times. Um, online businesses also, actually, quite a few times. Um, but online, yeah, or online is also quite a few times, and then it came out very fast, right? Uh, but this is where we come to what the profile of the founders has changed, right? Offline businesses, even the experienced ones do this, because they just think differently. Online businesses, generally, the inexperienced ones do this. The experienced ones should not learn of it at does it lead to a disintegration of relationship permanently? Where? Well, well, uh, it's easier said than done, right? To be founder first in a situation where you're seeing you in, you're in the passenger seat of the car being driven by someone else going off a cliff and you can see it. Yeah. And you're still saying, hey, I'm not going to veto this. I'm not going to jump out the car. Yeah. But by the way, my relationship with you will always remain. No, you don't say the, the last piece either, right? That my relationship will be unaffected, whatever. I will tell you, um, where I think I'm just thinking through this life where the intent of the founder you could never question those relationships stay fine and and usme I'm thinking of one founder who was always one of our favorite founders and is again very close to us right and then kind of Get and make up <laughs> uh, and cry on each other. Where well, the intent was never in question. Well, the intent was never in question. Uh, what tech one of without intent generally question you. Uh, it requires a tremendous amount of maturity to do that as an investor. I'm sure. Because the amount of, I don't think founders understand, it's taken me a long time to understand yeah. how much pressure an investor takes yeah. on your behalf with very limited control yeah. on what you do yeah. with their money. You get better one at compartmentalizing. But there is a science to managing this also, which I don't think is practice, you know, which does come with age and greater. And that, uh, we don't mark up most of our company to, to their prices. A lot of our company, we carry them at big discounts until we see, kick out. If they don't have any pressure, 
और जैसे ही मेरे को लटपटी वगैरह डोंट मार्क अप मतलब टू टू योर एलपीज एंड सॉन या अब यू सेट प्रेशर किस प्रेशर क्यों आएगा प्रेशर तब आएगा जब मैं मैंने बोला भाई ये हीरो कंपनी है और वो हीरो जा रही है अगर मैंने बोला ही नहीं कि वो हीरो कंपनी है और मैं वेट कर रहा हूँ तो मैं दिखाता हूँ कि ये पचास परसेंट डिस्काउंट पे है ये चालीस परसेंट डिस्काउंट पे है ये वो एंड दैट सो सो दैट इज फंड मैनेजमेंट इफ यू हैव इनफ विनर्स द इशूज यू कान डू दैट इफ यू डोट हैनर्स दैट इफ यू हैव इनफ विनर्स एंड यू हैव ट्रैक रिकॉर्ड एन आई वुड से ऑल द टॉप टेयर वीज इन द कंट्री वी मैनेज इट लाइक एंड देन फोर Your judgment is also not clouded. You are not giving advice basis and अपने investor को जाके क्या मालूम? And when you see things turn, you are also very aggressive about marking them now, like below cost. So I think that's one of the nuances of fund is like cost principles, fund management, so that you don't get. I I'm telling you, we deal with this even in our portfolio all the time, where. Some somebody may have been carrying it at a very different risk than we are, and the advice is right: screw it on cost, get the next round done, do this, do that. For him, that's where the and then the founder is torn. Founder solving for fund economics is a very painful thing. That I can, yeah, yeah that I completely do that. But I think the that's the corollary that happens. I think most founders realize this when there is. Three different rounds done, obviously at three different prices, and you start seeing the advice changing between the. Yeah. I mean, it's the same, yeah. but the early stage for person, let's say, in the money at fifteen x, the second investor is at five x, and the third investor is at one x. Correct. The advice is obviously going to be different. How does a founder optimize for what is always a very very tough. Uh, Tough piece, but I think that's for another podcast. But to that point, no. So in that situation, we generally have, have it a little bit easier because we would not have marked it to fifteen. We may be sitting at five or six. Yeah. But those later stages, its pressure correct. Why did you raise it? Yeah. Then it's correct. Correct. Like, what are they doing? Yeah. And by the way, I, I mean, I know you guys think like this. I personally believe that's how founders should be thinking. This yeah. is not a serious responsibility paying you money, right? Don't take money and then say, "Up, they can get." So on the on the You know a little corollary to what Shantanu was asking. Do you also feel sometimes that yeah, this founder, ठीक क्या? But बहुत कुछ और कर सकता. Like you were capable of doing a lot more. I think that would be happening a lot more times than the first. It has changed now, and I'll I'll come back to that. But by the way, I feel about that about myself like that as a founder of a Bazi, right? It was like if we hadn't sold, you know, what what would have happened, whatever. But I tell you what I realized, which we apply in the U.S. Secondaries are a big no no. Okay, now that changed during these 2017 to 21 days, but founder secondary is frowned upon like anything. I think it's wrong. I think founder should be given some secondary and give a second pint, and then they want to build because otherwise that, especially for younger founders, for me that first million two million is very tempting. Right. I think Donald Trump yeah. completely agree with you. I don't know why we don't do it. Yeah. Well, yeah, but there are some conditions that change over. There are some conditions I believe that have yeah, to be there. Yeah. Given just given the conversation we had around founder, you know, just the founder ethos, right? Yeah. One is the company should have a track record. You cannot do founder secondary in the third year. Yeah. Number yeah. Two. Number two, there should be more capital on the table than the company needs. Correct. The so company has first right. Third is that along with the founder, there is a significant amount of ESOP, senior team, early investor, etc. Yeah. Everyone participates in that excess capital more than if the company needs X. Company raise one one point four x because yeah. you have forty yeah. percent for a rainy day. Baki jo bachta hai, usse to I can tell you. I think those are great rules. The 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 additional nuance I'd give on number two, which means that you have a business model that's working. Correct. Right. Ye nahi you may have enough capital. Correct. But you may no, still not have a business model that's working. Correct. I have. Yeah. Both because I'll tell you what I'll tell you the very first one. And Rewan has been a big part of it for our company. These guys, I think I. Of all the people who have helped build Bombay Shipping Company, Revant and Mr. Ravi Nigam, who is on our board now, and replaced Revant, have been probably the most by distance on in the, terms of in terms of helping out and two AM calls, uh, distress calls, yeah. vulnerable calls. I want to quit calls. Who yeah. made to him because I genuinely felt he understood. But I was discussing this with him. He the day the ESOP got liquidated, me I was okay. But the I 
physically wanted to measure the breadth of the cho- shoulders of my senior team when they walked into a meeting with investors after that yeah. or in a board meeting it was not about aggression yeah it was just in Come now on. we are not subservient now i'm a shark who is tasting blood yeah now see how i swim for you yeah yeah i'm not hungry anymore yeah. or that this point what the words you just used swim for you right and that's the and that's what investors miss ki boss ye aap usko de rahe ho to wo kahin bhag raha hai wo aap hi ke liye aur bhagne wala hai right kabhi pata chal gaya na mere ko we have a huge board in our office we, yeah. i would love to host you in our office yeah. where you have the like the share price yeah. is soft and all of that yeah every day we pay it it's one of the most powerful things but now it's real yeah now three rounds of liquidity enough it's real people can subscribe there's now a process for it yeah i think it's a very valuable thing but you're right the business has to deserve it yeah and the investor should never feel like okay someone else took this before it was right full to do yeah so. yeah but i think making that happen is something thoda sa bhi extreme pe chala gaya i think what i'm finding is in year 2 itself like you said no business has a track record this esop liquidity has come actually not founder liquidity but this in the market esop liquidity has become because their peers are getting it yeah yeah sab ho jata hai na because mere peers ko mil raha hai humko kyun nahi mil raha now these are all bull market phenomena so yeah. i think 23 24 people are looking to keep their jobs so agree on principle but those rules have to be followed completely and again the discussion is because founder selling yeah we like actually do you not believe in the business yeah there is no boss my salary today is half what i used to make it begin yeah. these 7 years back yeah. Yeah. so now and i believe so much in the business i don't want to sell it correct but so therefore this is just to correct i love him i will never hit i actually would prefer to not hit my pnl yeah i'm happy to hit 0.5% dilution to yeah. be honest yeah i would rather do that yeah and sustain but that maths is difficult to explain yeah. sometimes maturity is not there again nikhil vora at six senses some i don't know whether you work with him or coin with him his pushes on this have been just spot on like again public market guy right yeah. has seen how pro- he didn't call me a founder he called me promoter yeah. and for a long time i told him that he was a bit dusra sham dekha but he yeah. thinks of it that way yeah. he was the promoter of the business and so well that's that's that that's quite spectacular so you were going to ask a question i think i cut you well, i think no no i think uh, this has i think we have debated this uh quite a few times i'm in my view actually i have a slightly different point because especially what he mentioned on what public market investors want if you fundamentally think about building a sustainable business then the business should not dilute after a certain point of time absolutely so if it's possible for founders to take market comp right then and if the pnl supports it then that should happen because if you can actually avoid dilution in fact stock based compensation i believe now it's you know like you would see a lot of us companies where public investors are shying away from uh companies that have very large stock based uh compensation because it just hurts the i mean we don't see it because it's you know ey comes in and says in the end that oh you have to account for this in the pnl but when we are doing a monthly mis it doesn't figure anywhere um sustainable businesses long term always need to think equity dilution because value creation is always an equity right. so every time you dilute you know that's i think but the corollary is that if you think de risking creates a mental comfort or what we call psychological safety for founders to just go for bigger thing that could be a possible reason to um uh but well, i think as companies grow and i think uh, in fact uh, i don't listen uh, to <laughs> their view but like we as founders take much lower comp than what the board has also sanctioned yeah absolutely and his question is why and the only pushback is let the company become sizable where that and that doesn't wanted to be a signal right to your people i think that's the other thing yeah, yeah. you but, can't you can't take comp yeah and then but you have to give it for 20 other people yeah how do promoters do it at at, at 25% ebitda 5000 crore business do it how do they do it they also draw 3 4 crores only they don't draw high salary but i think that they take older one they used to take profit share yeah then when they realize ki wo profit share ka 20 25 times multiply karo pe mein market cap se nikal jata hai but that's where that's where incentives are lying which goes back to public market and the market is saying boss i will you if you want enough of your business i'm rewarding you with such a big multiple there correct why are you doing this chota one actually ultra suit sir at completely agree this long term thinking is yeah. so critical ultra suit india mein mai bol raha beyond a crore two crores 
फिक्स्ड कॉम व्हाट विल यू स्पेंड ऑन अरे मैं क्या बात कर रहा हूं मैं नो सम यू विल फाइंड वेट विल नॉट गो ऑन रिकॉर्ड अबाउट माय न्यू लर्निंग्स ऑफ द नेट सार्थक ये वन कर तो मैं बात कर ऑन द बीएमडब्ल्यू जी फोर मेरे में बाबा जाओ मी एंड वन ऑफ आवर गाइस यू नो वन वी वन आई वाज डन अ शूट इन द बाबा जाओ नो 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 Oh, so <laughs> <laughs> you should talk. I think for for founders, I think this talk based conversation may not be obvious to anybody. Yeah, and he's the first guy in our portfolio I remember, and in many ways he does many firsts. Where he said, "I think we need to start measuring it because it affects P and M." So only this. Yeah. So essentially, we don't think of it as cash because we have created the ESOP tool. We say we are giving stock options from this ESOP. What happens is when we exhaust the ESOP pool, we go back to the board and say, "Hey, we need one more percent." Correct. But that's diluting everyone. Correct. So when we are giving, we are saying, "Ha, thik hai aur mang lenge," because early stage is very you know you should have employees and you should give a lot of stock options, right? But goes back to the principle of capital allocation. We don't count this as capital allocation, but this also is capital no, allocation no, because no. it impacts. It's on the balance sheet, no? It's on the balance sheet. Yeah. So one way to do it is. so um every big four big five in five you have to show it in the pnl in the end of the audit they can actually give you a full year uh that this is what every month if you want to count it and you could actually put it on the mis and see the actual loss yeah which is don't show to for 500 rupees yeah. so <laughs> all tension aa jayega no so but just a debit हमको कुछ एडजस्ट नहीं करना आपको ढेर साल देख रहे थे उसके बाद पैट कितना होगा कैश रिक्वायरमेंट इज 20% higher than our EBITDA loss okay yeah but if you look at high performing businesses yeah like connected and coldrey for example cash is 30% higher than EBITDA 1 billion dollar EBITDA for the year 1.4 billion dollar cash positive so mm-hmm. only boss if you have a good margin profile yeah and you are smart about the way you incentivize yeah so reckit for example there is okay every employee in reckit bentis are is incentivized on three things growth of revenue growth of profit net working capital every one's okrs boil into me so that company is a profit machine just because incentives are aligned i just feel that if everyone does this including yeah. at a equity level and at a cash yeah. level yeah. then the company starts 27% ebitda business yaar generating cash like crazy crazy and net working capital collect quickly and give it and inventory is only on on cash You should have them as LPs. Very soon. Oh, one of this uh, again going back to the bubble practices and the one to ten. So you saw in um, when just top line was getting rewarded, a lot of B two B businesses and stuff. Working capital, is, the top line is exploding. Working capital is exploding. Okay, the fraud ones which are also doing the rope tripping and all that, right? So I think this balance scorecard. Then it. Uh, the good news is it's come back into fashion. Some of the companies that we were talking about, yeah, which went down, we were clients of some of the logistics companies. So, mm-hmm. I knew a year and a half. So for me, market is a big indicator. I knew a year and a half back before, and some of the founders are friends. Key, something is wrong because you know why? What was the indicator? I think I payment to jaldi se hai. Payment hi aa rahi hai. Finance, finance wale bol rahe hain, "Mummy, yar, six months se apne payment nahi kariye. Yeah, the mangte hi nahi hai. Yeah, payment mangte hi nahi. Lang, mangte nahi toh dekhe." Uh, I'm really close to Amira up there. But then you know I agree with your finance guy. Man, what why should you give you the hint? We did he had a payable for a long time. Uh, he is he was a KPI. I ask to pay but he like payable man but I'm not going to ask any pressure here. Nike was known for this for a long time. Nike was known for not raising payments by design. Yeah. Art fund yeah. and yeah yeah. And well, also, but again the smart businesses in this country well, why would you take money from a bank or NBFC? If you can take it from your customers and suppliers and be negative working capital, that's a smart business practice, sir. Now it should not cross the line, but if it is being done, but I think people don't realize. And again, in the tech world, the fact of cash discount, carrying cost, all of this, this is dhanda. That's how it's done, correct? Right? And we need to understand dhanda and working 
पीपल ओनली फोकस ऑन पी एन एल वॉट इट इज एंड पीपल से अच्छा कैश फ्लो करेंगे बट बैलेंस शीट को कैसे कर रहे हो इज अनदर पार्ट ऑफ द ऑल्टरनेट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू जस्ट लाइक सिक्स मंथ बैक स्टार्ट वर्किंग विद डी मार्ट विदाउट फेल फोर डे फ्रॉम परचेस ऑर्डर पेमेंट एंड बैंक can you imagine four day from purchase order payment and they are they do not have to ask so what the hell you are in retail like clever margin there yeah. everyone else is falling apart how is healing you are not managing for margin they are managing for cash they yeah. are we manage your cash you will manage my margin yeah because you will give me the best yeah. value for my consumer yeah i don't mind giving you cash on time for that so yeah. that's yeah. just a smart decision and it's predictable for you and that it works for them it becomes predictable for them are i do i will demand ask me give me for 5% scheme de do main to mana nahi karunga ha na sir of course i'm doing only that he is bleeding my pnl yeah. but he is making sure my cash which is might be good but for everyone as for his consumer is great that's why he's a yeah. successful retail so so when you do that also the thing yeah you're getting category share this is why you're doing it yeah. absolutely Absolutely. For you winning that category is critical. So you hundred D part yeah. is the entry into the house. Yeah, for the consumer. Yeah. yeah. For me, yeah, like I would think of it as marketing. I was about to say more than yeah, it's brand. marketing. It's yeah. For me, it's just yeah. D Mart. Me, I have. I'm able to dress the category in D Mart and shave yeah. some and cream. For me, it is category budget. Yeah. For for me, I would say this is marketing investment. Yeah. So, like cat me that should that match would cover marketing cat. adjusted. उंट you have genuinely built you are a founder yourself which is not so common in indian venture capital a lot of venture capitalists consultants and bankers and so on and but you are a founder exited successful and built out a company and you are finding people like that karun for example is a founder uh, rahul who now joined was a founder you're bringing a culture of operators founders into matrix so how do you think of talent in the larger capital management and capital deployment venture capital deployment industry How do you do it for for your fund? Yeah. Um. And how do you think about founders for the next decade, two decades? Yeah. Uh, in terms of no, so this is something that is religion uh, for me and now for the firm. So coming back to the opportunity, and I I think I'm gonna I'm gonna almost keep saying it so many times that I'm will it for for it to happen. So we have this concept called M thirty five, which is what does matrix look like in twenty thirty five. What does the market look like in 2035? Hopefully, in GDP of 10 trillion. Call it 9, 10 trillion. If you look at the pet, so today that that is 3.5 trillion. If you look at globally the penetration curve of tech market cap into the GDP. So typically, people will say that one time GDP is in a Warren Buffett will say one time GDP is equal to market cap is a steady state. So to stock market should be worth correct. How much of that should be digital? If you track. US could went up to 42%. China went up to 35%. I am saying 25 30%. We have 2 2.5 trillion of market cap. Today that is 175, which is 5%. Yeah. Uh, if you include all the private companies and the public companies about 150. That's the size of the opportunity. It comes once in a lifetime for people. America may maybe two bar ho gaye the one one was that baby boomer generation which was post World War II when the whole US was built quote unquote industrialization germany went through it japan went through it then the tech gave another fillip to everybody dot com and it's continuing for us it's happening at the same time the real world and the digital world is getting built at the same time so i actually think it'll surprise on the upside because we haven't seen this happen anywhere else maybe a little bit in china so alibaba has more i think uh was driving more retail Than any of the largest chains uh, in in China, and very soon that's happening in India also, right? So I just think the opportunity set is massive. Now we said before that you have to take a corner. So market looks very interesting, but we are founders first. We are going to take. So we want a disproportionate share of founders, the best founders in the country. What market cap that creates, I'll take a punt. But I just want a dis, or we as a firm want a disproportionate share. Of the best founders uh, in the country. Now, if you have to do that, what kind of people do you need? 
Do you want consultants? Which, by the way, I was a McKinsey consultant. So, you were a McKinsey. So, let's not. <laughs> let's not. Go, <laughs> let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not go there. But obviously, a founder is going to relate better to somebody who's been operating background. Right? So, by the way, Vikram was also a founder. If you look at our new team, uh, whether it's Siddharth, CV, bunch of them are all, uh, you know, Nitin, all coming from the operating background. So, we are trying to say massive market opportunity. We want to be in business with the best founders. The best way to get into business with the best founders is have two things. One, people who have kind of been founders or operators themselves and two, some kind of domain expertise. I can't teach him anything or you about, about D2C. But it should not be the opposite, which is I'm expecting or we are expecting in board meetings and all to do things which are not realistic. And if somebody is from the domain, it's not high level gap. Yeah. It's they know what they're talking about. Second, also, it becomes easier to, I believe going forward, this is not going to be a business where the venture capitalists choose the founders they work with. I think the founders will choose the venture capitalists they work with. And I think that's a very big shift that's coming. And I think that's underway. And we have seen that over the last uh, couple of years. In that situation, again, building the firm with that, that how do we get into access to and into business with uh, the best founders. So that's how we are thinking about it. Just like talent internally, is how how do you think about that? Because it's such a small, usually a much smaller team for the amount of capital that you're saying. You everyone represents the fund in yeah. a very large setup, right? Board yeah. meetings or in front yeah. of you know founders with personality, yeah. for example, right? How yeah. how do you think about building talent in venture capital where there is no no, but the, the operators coming in that's left of an issue. I'm is telling it? you, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Do, don't you no, have to go from so uh, just talking about you know kind of Prane came he was at Freshworks for seven eight years our fast founders immediately took a liking they would rather hear from him than any of us right Akash has come he knows him he was actually one of the uh, references uh, so Akash comes from a so they are all very seasoned founders want to listen to it they actually want to listen to it it's a natural Comfort slash tribe mentality that comes in. Yeah, ki ye mujhe samjhega. Do I think normal? I'm not saying apkiyas hota hai, but normally you are little guarded with investors. Investors. I mean, what happens is founders have this innate ability to relate and give comfort. So, apne aap thoda easy ho jata hai. And I think that at least I see that with him because he's been a uh, and it's easy for me for a, for example, if I ask him something about his Mazi journey and he's vulnerable and open about it. What will happen is if somebody is coming both from the domain and operating, they know where the skeletons are hidden. So they will empathize with you and say, Agar ye sab, ye sab acha ho hai, to fit to ye bhi ho ra hmm. And then the founder says, Yeah, to sab pata hai. Correct. Hmm. Right? And that just creates a different dynamic. Versus dating, putting your best foot forward, trying to present. No, I had completed. But we are also the kind of profiles where the itch to kind of go back into the into starting up. I'll have to ask them in one. Day. <laughs> <laughs> For example, when Chiran joined, yeah. I think Raven connected us. He said, "I'm going to come." But yeah, our boss itch is itch. Yeah. At some point, I want to. This might yeah. be a stable thing for now, but a lot of them have been through that. At least at Matrix. And so. You're right, and this is something we try to test at entry to say about Sage and Nikhil. And, 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 and uh, uh, no, because like, what do you ask? I live with me. By the way, make a cool country of this. So, uh, I'm sure that 2018, I'm like, uh, everything around me is exploding. I, I, I may have the passion, skill set, opportunity, and purpose now to actually be an entrepreneur again because the internet is finally happening. Of course, my, my investors. Yeah, then they have a fund. In 2018, I had a fund in 2018. After 2000, I actually went away. Because I found my purpose. And my purpose, my life's work is to work with founders. Not to be a founder. The, the enjoyment I get from it, I hope I make impact. But I'm very clear, the enjoyment I get from it, I will not get away. The clarity can't say, was it a momentary thing or was it over a period of time? Was it so a what, period, of period of time and not to give him too much credit. But it's by working with, I would say now, a broad, large set of founders. It's compounding with time. Correct. 
and then you start saying, oh, you know, in a more uh, uh, candid way, one of the VCs had told me that there are just two types of phones: red button, green button. I said, what does that mean? He said, well, iPhone pe jab phone aata na, in the earlier days, you used to swipe if green to yeah. take the call, red to not take the call. Yeah. Which which founders are you in business? They were. <laughs> it's insightful, right? Yeah. It's a very simplistic way. Now we have a green button. Hai. So green button is a lot of fun. It actually, and personally, just intellectuals, in the discussion three of us were having inside, how many places would, I'm not saying we are very intellectual, I'm just saying, just the opportunity to do these things. And he was just saying, you know, founders offside pe jata hai. Because this type ki jo tribal discussions, and I don't want to sound too corny, but we are helping build the nation. I don't want to be, we are part of, we are privileged to be part of digital nation building. Correct. This will happen only in this next 12, 13 years. Uske baad, some optimization be aagayla. Innovation, ye wo. It will still be a great market. But this is where the plumbing is being put in. And this is not building decade. This is the building decade. This is the building decade. Now, building decade, I builder ki tarah bhi kar sakta hu. Or, enabler on just, because the, the, the horizontal stimulation is just higher. You know, just the nature of different types of businesses. I was reading the other day, now now people are thinking 60 years in careers. Yeah. They started 20, Indian 80. Yeah. People are not going to stop because we yeah. have become so conscious of our health, the kind of food we eat. No, no, but one, was, one of my founders was your age probably. He told me, I have 20 years ahead of me. And I said, what? I have 20 years ahead of me. So you, I, I, my, I will never retire by the way. I am very clear. I think the days of uh, retirement, all of that, uh, uh, now what one does may change over a period of time. Uh, but to stay sharp, you know, to live long, all of that. Actually, one of the things that in Ikigai, that book, is that these Japanese people live, live longer because they never retire. They keep themselves living, living with something. No, something that they are passionate about. Absolutely. The, I think what changes over a period of time is control of time, and accountability in terms of you control accountability. Yeah. It becomes more to self than to anyone else. Yeah. Time becomes more for yourself than yours. And but you still obviously spend yeah. most of your time. You have to be just out. stay stimulated, intellectually stimulated, and physically fit. Amazing. Amazing. Any more questions on our side? I'm gonna retire. <laughs> <laughs> you guys can continue. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, but that is like, like for me, like a lot of founders love uh -huh. love the idea of becoming venture capital because they genuinely feel that they will yeah be, be more relatable. They have those sense of certain industry. For example, I do feel that my understanding of consumer is a lot more now than it was six years back. For oh, sure, so on, right? for sure. Because of a consulting background, I will be able to do it well. I do feel now, and listening to you, that the reverse migration of venture capitalists. Especially at the senior level, who become founders because you know their ability, their access to capital, yeah. their access to networks, their access to well, so one of our biggest wins uh, is is a venture capitalist, no Ashish. Yes, um, we have invested in so many. There's Jodo with, with there's DSL, many. Um, so absolutely, um, just one point on this retirement thing. Well, the question is, <laughs> what will you do what, when you retire, and why don't you do it now? And this was so, integrated into your life. Yeah, I, I think I do believe in work life balance. I believe in work life integration. Absolutely. Yeah. So to your point on VC, I mean, the number of co investments we have done yeah. is I mean So the idea of retirement is at least from a retirement yeah, perspective yeah. capitalist. Yeah. So what I like actually was what uh, Shantaro mentioned, which is that and there has to come a point in time where you're doing it for pure enjoyment and fulfillment. Yeah. See, today you may not you are, you're saying you're doing it for enjoyment, but in the end, you carry the expectations of every team member who has joined MPI. Yeah. And and I fail miserably. No. So I, I tell this to anybody who's joining us that Saturday, Sunday, phone karunga uh, main. Zindagi bhoat khraab chalegi. Uh, and then people still join. I work for my kabhi phone karunga and then kya to bhoat kar. Kuch bhoat karunga. Somehow, I don't, I, I don't know. I just think that, uh, you know, when you have a lot of stakeholders, yeah. 
उसका कुछ स्पेशल वर्ड है एंड इज लाइक वो इतना इतने स्टेज में पहुंच गए हैं नो प्रेशर दे आर देर देर हैविंग देर सीज कैंडीज मतलब इन दी एनुअल मीटिंग एंड हैविंग अ कोक नाउ दैट काइंड ऑफ लाइफ देन दे गो आई एग्री फ्लो इट इट इज इन सच फ्लो दैट दैट आई सो दैट्स इन माय व्यू रिटायरमेंट करेक्ट दैट्स ऑल आई कैन रिटायरमेंट इवन आई वेरी जस्ट योर देन योर जस्ट डजंट टेक एफर्ट Effort piece at yeah. some point it gets. I think in in some ways it's because you know even some brand we are in a health business and expectations. Yeah, you, you can manage because you said I don't give any expectations to anyone. Yeah, no, no, it's a, by it's design. Aata hi hai. Not the wait. He may say that I have no expectations from my top design founder. It's my responsibility. I have told traditional vision. Correct. It's my responsibility. So I think in that sense. You have to reach a stage where, I think retirement exactly is that you are doing things for pure passion. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you this point you made about time. You know, there is that saying that the ultimate wealth is time. Time. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know what's the chicken and egg of it, but some of my friends who are doing the best and whatever, worth few billions or whatever, they seem to have time for everything. Yeah. They have done something right because पैसा भी है और टाइम भी है, right? So that. in our lives we, i personally have no very little control i think just on you know because i know it's getting a little dreary and serious yeah. but if i if i think about gen ai yeah. i think it's going to offer fabulous opportunities for people to explore yeah. their passions yeah. without the burden of raising too much capital yeah. or having too many employees yeah. and it's going to be a fabulous next 10 to 15 years to see if we can yeah. uh, so i think Really, if you think about how technology enables improvement in everybody's lives, this yeah. is the next phase, and I think that's super exciting. Yeah. Uh, and again, we're so, lucky to be living in such time. Yeah, it's a bit of a problem for someone like you because you back ten founders, hundred founders, five hundred founders. It's it's very unclear of how the capital allocation to No, projects I, versus actually never that never an issue because we never take that kind of a call we just say bottoms up great for they want the public market guys said mere ko banda dekha show me the face i'll show you i'll tell you the the answer right i think for us it's always that yeah it's always that so the the if if that 50 talented founders in the space short sure. if they are five short sure. if they are zero okay that will not will feel bad but yeah uh, and doubt that the same thing at the golden period of our country is coinciding with the prime of our lives yeah. at the same time a country that is demographically in the best place to kind of reap the yeah. dividend in the west yeah. this, this opportunity will not happen again yeah. at least before i think uh, before we sign off i know you have, you know you, you have a, a hard stop but people who watch our podcast uh, people who come and listen to founders like revan are people who genuinely are supporters of the ecosystem want to be participants or already are participants of the ecosystem or maybe employees or angel investors that's who they are um but any final words from you to them in terms of you got if there's someone on the fence ki mai ko karna hai pata nahi mai kar paunga ya kar paungi ki nahi kitne paise lagenge mera idea acha hai ki na any word of advice to kind of what happens if you fail in this when when we are in digital nation building that is going to last decades you are only going to compound your skill set the sooner you enter right because it is a compounding business all of us when we first start out we make some mistakes and then next time hopefully we don't make we make other mistakes so to me i actually look at as and um, i mean the best example is my own son like i would never encourage him like all we talk about is entrepreneurship right and by the time he is able to do it it will be maybe you know halfway through this journey uh, so i just think there is i see this as zero downside and only upside 
in an exciting, privileged position where every day, like you know, we are going to be um, we are going to be dealing with new and new things and exciting things, which even in the society that we live in, increasingly is getting associated with that. Chaplo, ye no kar, ye kar raha, right? So even that upside of saying, I still remember when I was doing Bazi dot com and dot com became dot won, and I used to be, you know, what people used to say, kya kar rahe ho? तो शर्म आती थी कि यार कैसे पता है कि अच्छा डॉट ये लोग ऑलमोस्ट लाइक आई एम सॉरी सो देन सो माय पॉइंट इज लुक एट दिस नाउ व्हाट इज दैट डाउन साइड आई थिंक वी हैव आई हैड कम हियर विद अ लॉट टू डिस्कस विद रेवंद एंड आई डिस्कस क्या क्या करेंगे आई स्पोकन टू राहुल एज प्रिपरेशन and we've only gone through 20% and we've gone through, <laughs> we've gone through the the laws on um, uh, on on privacy in india on internet yeah. based we've given the 2004 case yeah. we've not even scratched the surface of your bazi experience uh, around being a you know being a father and a founder of fund i think we've spoken a lot about the ecosystem in the country so i think we should do a barber shop cross matrix moments 2.0 and then 3.0 also That's but i think for this uh, this one avnish and revan i hope you had fun इवन तो मेरे पास फोन क्यों him i always learn from what to do it with him <laughs> thank you so much thank cool you. yes amnish sure, revan then i have a have a hamper for you thank you very much thank you sir thank you thank you